Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome to my playthrough of Siphon Filter 2. I hope that you guys really enjoy this. So I did an entire playthrough of Siphon Filter 1 a few months back, and we did an entire, you know, four hour video on that. And this one, we're gonna do an entire playthrough of this game in just one video. And I'm also gonna have timestamps down below so you guys can skip to a specific mission if you wanna get to it. But this is the second game in the series takes place after the first one, and I think that Siphon Filter 2 is probably the best one in the series. Was released on the PlayStation 5 um, last year, which is just, that's what's really, what I love about this, uh, about this game that I can still play it on the PS5. So this game was released, originally was it the year 2000, I think it was 2000 or 1999, and uh, again, follows the story of Gabe Logan as he's going to um, us confront the agency from the first game. Remember when there was the siphon filter virus, you had a terrorist organization, Romer's um, Black Baton organization that was trying to weaponize the virus. By the end of the game, the first one, Logan actually finds out that the agency was actually working with the terrorists. And so he's basically trying to expose this and there's a basically a giant government plot in this game. And it also involves the Chinese government and there's a lot of different factions in it. And for just uh, being such an old game, uh, you know, gameplay is really fun. The there actually has a good lean mechanic, the, the gun plays pretty good, and the story's decent. So anyways, let's start us off here. And um, you guys are just gonna love the soundtrack in this game too. Nine eight nine studios. That's the same developer that made Days Gone, by the way. So this, uh, this is why this game will never get a, a reboot today. This, this scene, remake of this. Tensions between the U.S. and People's Republic of China are on the rise as the administration answers allegations that it allowed sensitive U.S. technologies to be sold to a dissident group in Heilongjiang. Yeah, so that what I was saying there is that's why that uh, this game will never get a remake because of the China scenes. That's specifically why, because very few video games today, modern day, criticize the Chinese government. And so you won't really see any, any games like that. Because the second that um, that the Chinese are villains in any, any kind of video game, the Chinese government, the Chinese military, China will block that game, ban that game from being um, uh, sold in China. But not only that, it will probably block the entire company from ever doing business in China. And so because of that, you very rarely see the Chinese as enemies in the game. And part of the story in this game is you have an evil Chinese general that wants to weaponize the siphon filter virus to actually use it on the people who are actually protesting against them and actually want freedom for their province. And so you see why that this would never be allowed in a video game today. In other news, we now go live to the White House press room where Secretary of State Vince Haddon is expected to comment on the Kazakhstan missile incident. As many of you know, four hours ago, a nuclear missile was detonated over Kazakhstan. That's about the, the um, uh, when Romer fired the missile in Kazakhstan. Accidental launch, ...and that the missile was destroyed via their own safety countermeasures. An investigation is underway. I cannot answer any more questions at this time. The entire area has been closed off amid reports of possible contamination. Local news stations report that precautions are being taken to... You guys made the news. The agency doesn't like it when their operations go public, or so I thought. If we have our way, it's going to get a lot more public than this. You ready for us? Smugglers use single-engine planes, not C-130 transports, you know. This old gravel road you call an airstrip's never tried to land anything that big before. You sure you want to bring it here? We don't have much choice. ETA 16 hours. Gabe, the transport's here. Chance, get up to the landing strip. I want that transport ready to go in half an hour. You got it, I'm already there. Hope you guys like my Gabe Logan cosplay, by the way. I got his vest. Leon, you okay? You don't sound so good. I'll be fine. Just make sure that airstrip is ready. Teresa, you're the only one we can count on now. I'll be ready. Out. What the? I found the mainframe with Farcom's backup data. Personal files. Gabe, the transport has an escort. Two Blackhawks running silent. It's Morgan and Falcon. Oh, 
Okay, got it. Out. She's at the second hangar. Vulcan, take the second squad and get her. First squad, get Logan on those discs. You and forces are on their way, and we have to be finished before they get here. Concussion grenades only. We need her alive. Dobson, get those guys out of there. Tell them to move. Pull your men back to the hangar and wait. I'm on my way. Already on it. We just have to hold them off until Gregorov gets here. Ramirez, get these discs into the silo. I'll signal when the landing strip is clear. Yes, sir. Leon? Leon, do you copy? Man, I just love this cutscene, even watching it so many years later. Okay, we have her. No, Logan is still alive. The Russians are here. We're out of time. We'll finish Logan later. Move those vehicles out of here. I want the airfield secure. That's it. Everything's locked down tight. Logan, <laughs> your request for aid, it came too late, yes? They've taken her. Uh, I am sorry. She and I are old friends. They will kill her? As long as I have the discs, the agency won't harm her. The Cossacks are on the way. You must be gone before they arrive. I never saw you here. I understand. Move squads A and B into the warehouse. All right. Chance, let's get moving. So now watch this. This this is the most 1990s menu ever, and I love it. I love this menu so much. It's so 1990s. Yeah, I just love that menu. Okay, let's do it here. Uh, one player. Rocky Mountains, Colorado. You got that airstrip ready, Teresa? ETA two hours. Yeah, it's clear. So what like Gabe basically has on his um uh plane is he has you okay, Chad? He has data disks which are um uh proved that the agency was working with the Black Baton terrorists uh in distributing the virus. Damn concussion grenade, my ears won't stop ringing. Hey, are we expecting an escort? What? What the hell? down hard the data discs no time kowalski grab the c4 yes sir grab the transponders locator we'll need it got it come on move it jump keep moving go 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 teresa i'm not gonna need your landing strip after all coming down the hard way well there goes that c-130 Colorado, USA, Rocky Mountains, Operative Gabe Logan. Let's see here. Your C-130 transport 
um, returning from Kazakhstan, has been shot down over the Colorado Rockies by agency fighters. You and a handful of CBDC agents were able to get off in time and are now uh, spread out along a mountain range. You must reach the C-130 crash site and retrieve the Farcom data disks before the agency does. Find chance, Lieutenant, um, a CBDC... Um, and collect the C-130's transport, uh, transponder locator. Use it to pinpoint the location of the downed transport, then use any and all means necessary to reach that location. Data disk must be retrieved to find a cure for, si for siphon filter and to save Leon. Teresa, I made it. Is the river any doubt? The agency pays a lot for its training. I'm not out of this yet. I've got to find chance to get the transponder locator from him. See if you can find an agency channel and break into it. I want to find out how big this operation is. You got it. Radio me if you hear from Leon. Okay. Hey, Gabe. Good luck. Right. So I'll show you guys a secret. I still remember a lot of secrets in this game. So if you actually carefully time the parachute... Ah. Come on, come on. Ah, damn. Are you here? Go back a little bit here. Yeah. You carefully, uh, gotta glide the parachute in a little bit more speed. You can get this, the H11. And the H11, that is right here. See this? Based on the G11. Kowalski, how's the leg? Definitely broken, sir. Two places. Pretty sure. I don't think I can support my weight. All right. I want you men to stay here. Find cover if you can. I need to find Chance. You know what happened to him? I know he made it off the transport. I think he touched down somewhere south of here. Got it. Also, the story to Siphon Filter gets really complicated along the way. So, um, uh, if I make any mistakes explaining the story, you know, feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, I also suggest that you guys watch the first game. I'll have the, um, you know, the link to the first game, um, also down in the description below. Uh, so make sure to check that one out if you haven't already, because that explains the story in the first game. Over. You been able to raise anyone on that thing? I've been SOL so far, sir. Interference is pretty bad. I don't think we can get a signal off this mountain. Well, don't waste your time. The agency doesn't want anyone to know we're up here. Sir? I'm looking for Chance. Let me see what I can do. Lieutenant Chance, come in. Do you read? This is Davies. I saw the lieutenant a few minutes ago. He's out looking for more survivors. I think his comm is down. Private, I need you to take me to him. You copy that? Yes, sir. I'm on my way to your location now. Roger that. Let's go. Yes, sir. So, um, uh... The siphon filter virus, what that basically is, it's a virus that can target um, uh, target people genetically, and it can harm certain people while other people it won't harm. Very scary weapon uh, design. That Chinese general that you saw at the start of the game, uh, there's basically people that want to break away um, uh, in that province and, you know, form their own independent uh, country, and so that Chinese general wants to use the virus on the people in that region. Sir, Lieutenant Chance is this way. Follow me. He went into that cave. Right. You stay here and stay alert. Are you expecting trouble, sir? Always. Hey, okay, uh, keep the M16 for now. And so, this game takes place in the 90s, guys, and so remember that, um, that, you know, the standard issue was the M16 at that time. We didn't really use the M4. Eshelman, have you seen Chance? Yes, sir. I just saw him come through here five minutes ago. This cave isn't stable. Watch yourself. Yes, sir. Okay, there's Chance. Chance, I've been looking all over for you. You got the transponder locator? Yeah, it's right here. I got all turned around. Damn, it's easy to get lost up here. I know. I've got to go back and find some high ground so I can get a reading on the transport's location. You go ahead down the mountain and find the highway. See if the agency is moving in any heavy artillery. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Teresa, have you heard anything from Leon yet? No, but I'm following agency radio traffic. They've set up shop at an old Civil Air Patrol base in Colorado, pushing the locals around. 
At least that's where the S-22s that shot you down scrambled from. That's where they're taking her. Watch your back, Gabe. They've got a convoy on the way up there now and have mobilized a couple squadrons of spook air commandos. They'll be dropping in on you any minute. Who's commanding them? Morgan's issuing the orders, but an old friend is commanding the ground troops. Archer. I served with him in Guatemala. He was a young brown noser bucking for promotion. Well, looks like he made it. Keep me posted. Out. So the agency is going to drop in um, paratroopers to try to stop you. Um, and also, here's the thing um, uh, about it is that this takes place in the Rocky Mountains. Uh, got you. The Rocky Mountains are also in Red Dead Redemption 2. These are actually real mountains. These are these are some of the tallest mountains in America. This is in Colorado. The Rocky Mountains go through several states. But remember the Amberino region in Red Dead Redemption 2 that, you know, those snowy mountains where the game starts on? That's this region. Sir, behind you! I'll get him! Cave in! Get out of here! Now! Esselman, Esselman, answer me! Esselman, are you alive? Forget about him. He's gone. But he might be alive in there. Save it. I've got to get to Kowalski. He had a few C4 chargers on him. But... You want to get off this mountain? We're going to have to blow our way out of here. I want you to stay here. Keep everyone else out of this cave. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. That's two more men gone. And no matter no matter how hard you try, guys, you actually cannot um, uh, save all of, uh, these guys. So you, your squad, no matter how hard you try, you can't save them. Because when I was a kid, I tried so badly to save a lot of these guys, but um, you can't. here Archer says we'll have the place locked down within an hour but they're putting up a fight no sir no sign of him our contact says he's up here though yes sir I'll pass it on So right here, there's actually a secret weapon. A lot of people missed this one, but I remember this one when I was a kid. The secret weapon, the air taser. Look at this thing. Look at what this thing does. It's Logan. Kill him. See that? It's a taser that has ridiculous range and sets people on fire. That's what people have always joked about is the tasers and siphon filter. I mean, look at the range on this thing. I mean, look at this thing. I gotta say, though, the guy who, who did the voice acting for the screaming guy on fire did, did, did his job. Okay, um... Okay, let's see here. What do I got to do? Uh... Uh... Okay. Gotta get the C4 too. Um climb up here. Use transporter here. Teresa, I've got a lock on the transport's location and I'm heading down the mountain. Hear anything yet? You're gonna love this one. The agencies leaked a story saying the transport plane was blown up by terrorists. 
Special agents have closed down half of Colorado to help quarantine off a potential biohazard at the crash site. They're covering their butts good. Misinformation. That's one thing the agency's good at. Gabe, once you find the crash site and get the discs, how are you going to get out of there alive? Not sure. I'm making this up as I go. Out. Okay. Now we gotta get the C4 from Kowalski. Okay, see, Kowalski, um, uh, they wasted Kowalski already. That's why we got the G11 here now. We're gonna use this, pick these guys off. So the G11, what's so weak, this is, this was a very futuristic gun at the time. It was a gun that the German military experimented with, but they never made it because it was mass-produced, I should say, because it was just too expensive. But it has a very weird design to it. Not good. We're under heavy fire. I've lost six men already. What are you gonna do? I'm not gonna let any more of these men die on this mountain. Out. And more paratroopers gonna come in now, yep. Got them all there. So what I was saying about the G11, the reason that this gun is so weird um, is because the G11 fires a bullet without a cartridge. Yeah, that's right. It has no cartridge. It just fires the bullet straight there. Now, how does that work exactly? I forget how the gun operates exactly, but it's just weird to have a gun without a, you know, without a casing. Um, so it doesn't have a casing. It's just a bullet. through here. Found Kowalski yet? Did you get the C4? Fire in the hole! Let's go. Hold up. What is it? I'm picking something up. We're making the drop now. Morgan says you've got two hours to finish the operation. That's not enough time. These guys aren't just falling over dead. Morgan's ordered the F-22s back for refueling an ordinance. This entire mountain is going up in a cloud of gas. You've got to be ready to clear out. Ramirez, get down the mountain and meet up a chance. I'll handle this. God, it's right behind me. It's the biggest problem right now. Ah, damn. Yeah. Let's go. Probably should have used the G11 there. Yeah. Hold up. What is it? I'm picking. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. It's all of them. Black jacket. Okay, there we go. Give me a sit rep. Sit rep a situational report. On either bluff. They got us pinned and we're low on ammo. Ferguson took one in the shoulder, but he'll make it. Right. Here's what we're gonna do. You give me some cover fire while I move around to flank them. I'll take him from the south and signal you when it's clear. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. All right. Ready? Move. Flank means that he's gonna go around them. Got him. Grenades, okay. Scout ahead. We got trouble incoming from all sides. Heavily armed. Damn it. I get a shot in these guys, they keep moving around. One more left, okay. The guys who have flak jackets, um, basically, those guys, you either shoot them in the head or the legs. Uh, if you shoot them in the body enough, their armor will snap, but it just takes a lot of shots. And don't worry about wasting ammo, because everything that you have in this mission, you don't carry on to the next one for this. See, like, shoot him in the legs like that. Ramirez, you stay here with Ferguson. Arm yourselves, and you should be safe. As soon as I find a clear way to the highway, I'll come back for you. Yes, sir. I'll be fine, sir. Okay, hang on. Won't be long. Sorry, Logan. If it were up to me, I'd let you live. Agency orders. Sure you would. Okay. This part gets really We're creepy. On it now. You'll have your shipment by the end of the week. You have three days. If I don't have it by then, that may be a leak to your American press. I'm sorry, but most unfortunate. That's the evil Even Chinese the general. Now. As soon as they get the plasma, they'll... What about Logan? There wasn't time. The UN peacekeeping forces had already arrived when... Another agency screw up. Do you have any idea how close your incompetence has come That's to Mara Arama. Remember her from the first I am game? Not responsible for the actions of my predecessor. Markinson was not in control. Markinson was your man. As Romer was yours. And what about Gregorov? You were supposed to keep the Russians away from the Farcom warehouses at Kazakhstan. <laughs> You're not going to blame me for your incompetence. The SVR is not under my control any more than Romer's terrorists were. Enough. We all have much at stake. Logan was one of our best agents. He has the highest level of training and years of field experience. It won't be easy. I see. Perhaps.
Perhaps I'm not being clear. Success is everything, is it not, Mr. Cochran? It will be impossible to get the plasma from the woman as long as Logan is alive. <laughs> I think you overestimate Mr. Logan's abilities. You were given Mr. Fagan's job because you promised to have phase two of the virus ready in time. It's not my fault that Romer lost the girl before we could extract but the- like Markinson and Romer, you have failed. All right, look. I'm sorry that things didn't go according to plan, but... You see, Mr. Stevens, a simple demonstration. Mara has proven her use... I don't know how she managed to Mr. do that, just snap his neck like that, but... Logan will be taken care of. We will have the female's plasma soon. I have an army on the way to Colorado now, and my men are at the airbase with Leon Zing. There will be no more delays. So that guy right there, that guy is the new CEO of Farcom. Farcom is the um, a pharmaceutical company that produced the siphon filter virus. And so the the Chinese general, I think his name is Shi Hao, um, uh, he wants the, the agency is trying to sell him the virus. You can take a break, Airman. We'll be done in 10 minutes. I'll need to see your ID, sir. We're with FEMA. Do we need to refer to your commander? Uh, no, sir. We'll check on Fagan. You finish the other CBDC agent. Stevens wants us back in New York. Watch her. She's been unconscious for much longer than I would have expected. The virus should not have weakened her so much this early in its development cycle. I'll head over to the secure hangar and see if the F-22s are back for refueling and ordnance. No. You get over to the main gate and make sure our package gets through unhindered. I'll take care of the pilots personally. Let's see. Two bags of plasma ought to be enough. You won't feel a thing. <laughs> no. You're the one who won't feel a thing. <coughs> okay. Now let's find my gear. So remember, Leon has the siphon filter virus in her. She's still sick. Um... So this mission creeped me out so much when I was a kid. It's like the the soundtrack in this mission. You're just sneaking around. There's not a lot of stealth games this time. This mission has always creeped me out. Just listen to the music in this mission. Um, uh, Colorado, USA, McKenzie, Air Base Operative Leon Zing. Agency operatives headed by Morgan have abducted you from Kazakhstan and brought you to McKenzie Air Force Base in Colorado. You must escape the holding facility and find a way off base. If possible, observe Morgan and his operatives and uncover any agency plans you can. Air Force personnel believe you're a terrorist under quarantine and will fire if they spot you. Avoid detection and use non-lethal means to eliminate any obstacles um, to your goal. So here's the thing about this um about this mission is you can kill agency operatives, so agency um people you can kill them because they're evil, but you can't kill the MPs because the MPs are innocent. Doctor. Those guys yes? in suits you can kill. Are you finished with him? I've given him the injection. It will take a moment for it to work. Morgan wants you to come check Fagan. I think the last of the serum bags are filled. Let me go check on Leon Singh first. No. Morgan said to come now. Dobson. I told you to get back. Why didn't you listen to me? Okay, going now. Um, uh. Okay, get combat gear, okay. Ooh. Okay. 
Can't go that way. So, um, basically, the reason that you can't kill the MPs is because the MPs are just soldiers doing their job. Uh, they don't know about what's going on. They don't know about the fact that the agency has, you know, kidnapped you. They think that you're a terrorist. And, um, uh, so the, the agency, remember, they're pretending to be FEMA. If I can go this way, then. Yeah, I think this is the way that I'm supposed to go. So yeah, this is like really creepy, like, you know, some like, you know, some secret, you know, portion to some like, you know, Air Force base, you know, are kidnapped, you're sneaking around, you got no guns, nothing. I've relieved the guard, we won't be disturbed. Good. Doctor, is your work with him done? Yes, that's the last we need from him. We get the rest from Zing. Then let's tie up a loose end. Unplug him. Wait, I can still use him back at the lab. We still have not That's Fagan, the he's still alive. Of the virus on certain genetic structures. I can use him. To My orders are to make Fagan disappear when you have finished extracting his plasma. The agency can't risk the government finding Farcom CEO infected with an unknown virus. I see. And it doesn't help that he has Aramov's bullet in his brain. You does can it? use the girl for your other tests. Fine, if you insist. I'll call the New York labs and see if they're ready for us. I'll go with you. So that go on ahead and check on the F-22s. Make sure they have the sarin canisters loaded and ready for a run on the survivors. I'll see what's keeping Holman. So Fagan, the you know Farcom CEO, remember he got shot in the head by Mara in the um uh. He got shot in the head by Mara in uh, in Siphon Filter One, but he's still alive. That's Fagan right there. Okay. Buzz me out, Carter. Where are you going? I gotta get some air. Those government guys are giving me the creeps. Something's going on in there. Yeah, I know what you mean. They just brought up a couple of body bags, and I got a call from the CO saying the entire base has been quarantined and locked down tight. CO means commanding officer. So you see, even the MPs, they know that there's something's off. So again, the MPs, the military police, they're innocent. They're not bad guys here. Few. They're just being manipulated by the agency. Gabe? Are you there? Uh, Gabe? Leon, where are you? Are you alright? Teresa? It's good to hear a familiar voice. I'm fine. They're holding me at some civil airbase in Colorado. Where's Gabe? He's run into trouble. Transport's down somewhere in the mountains. Gabe's in trouble? Yeah, but what else is new? I think he's more worried about you than himself. Gabe knows better than to worry about me. Uh, Leon, are you okay? Uh, running on an adrenaline booster right now. Winding down fast. Get this information to him right away. He was right about Fagan. They were keeping him alive, incubating some new strain of the virus. Probably the same strain I'm infected with. 
They must have injected us both while we were imprisoned in the catacombs. Oh my god. I'm sure that's why they brought me here. They were using this airbase to fly infected test subjects in and out of the states, bypassing international quarantines. Hmm. <laughs> the agency's also using it to shut down air routes all over the Rockies. <sighs> Makes for a good front. Tell Gabe that the agency lab complex is somewhere in New York. I'm gonna try to find out where. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm going to get a chopper, and I'm gonna get out of here. Does Gabe have an evac plan yet? No, he's having me monitor agency radio traffic while he gets to the crash site. I think he's gonna try to requisition a chopper there. Tell him not to. I'll give him a ride myself. Do you have his coordinates? No. We're ready to leave, Airman. Buzz us out. Yes, sir. <sighs> Never mind. I'll get him from the tower. I'm going to head over to the other infirmary and make sure the rest of the plasma has been properly refrigerated. Okay. Our F-22s are coming in now. As soon as I deal with them, I'll meet you at the tower. So we got a taser now. We can knock the, the um, MPs out, but we can't kill them. Okay. That switch, we'll be able to buzz ourselves out now. Oh, help. Ooh. That was close, okay. Now this guy, you have to knock him out because he's gonna realize the guy at the desk isn't buzzing him in. He's gonna sound the alarm. Carter, I'm on in five. Buzz me in, would you? We have a security breach. Oh. That's doing so good, too. We have a security breach. <sighs> I'm so sorry, guys. I just... I messed that up. I'm such an idiot here, but... Okay. Gotta wait till this guy turns here. All right, hold it, miss. Stop right there. You don't understand. I'm not a prisoner. You don't know who these men are. You're right, I don't know who they are, but I know they're not from FEMA. Over here. I overheard two of them. They're planning to kill you. You can get out here. Thanks. If you're trying to get to the airfield, it's southwest of here. I'll check in at the security office and cover your absence as long as I can. Good luck. You're taking a huge risk, Airman. I took an oath to uphold the law. Who are these people, CIA, NSA? Not exactly. You don't have much time. Good luck. Thanks again. So that MP, that's the same MP that's at the start when Morgan tells him that we're with FEMA. He knew that, that they were BS and he knew that they weren't telling the truth. The same guy who went outside. This is crazy. A whole convoy of troops moving up the highway. How are we gonna get out of here? We're not, unless we get some gear. I lost everything in the rock slide. What are you packing? An M16, but I'm low. There's a bunch of supply trucks in the tunnel. I saw them back up like crazy when the road collapsed. Okay, here's what we do. You move across the road and create a diversion. I'll get into the tunnel and find a supply truck. When I'm armed, I'll come back and get you. All right, if you say so, but I'm not gonna be able to hold them off long. You'll do fine. If something moves, shoot it. Okay, Interstate 70. Um, 
uh, operative Gabe Logan. Uh, Chance has scouted the highway ahead and uh, found uh, a convoy of arms agency commando stopped by the avalanche that was caused by Archer's missile attack. You must get past the convoy to reach the C-130 crash site and retrieve the data disks. However, you lost your arsenal in the avalanche. Chance will create a distraction and draw enemy fire while you enter the tunnel. Search the back of any transport trucks you find to re-equip um, yourself. Afterwards, protect Chance and fight your way to the crash site. Okay. Hey, you want some of this? So, Interstate 70, real life highway in Colorado, um, uh, and uh, the uh, the a uh, the agency has shut down all the roads in Colorado. I'd right here behind this. Orders are to wait here for Logan. What do we do then? We kill him. Okay. Get to the truck, get the ammo. There we go. Equipment, perfect. Chance, I've made it to the truck. I'm grabbing some ammo and I'll be back there in a minute. It's about time. Compacts and shotgun, this will be perfect. Okay. Ah! Oops. That was close. I told you you'd do fine. Now listen, the tunnel's gonna be crawling with troops, so stay with me and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Trouble. This is my favorite part of this mission. I love this part. I never forgot this part. Damn it, they've all got flak jackets. I hope you've got a plan. Stay low. Ah! Alright, see so your flak jacket protect you from this. Gabe, behind you! And yeah, those voice actors screaming from the fire act didn't really do their job. There's just one guard out there. Does that seem right to you? Yeah, it seems right. For an ambush. That's what I was thinking. What do we do? Stay back. I'll let you know when it's safe to move up. So this part has two approaches. There's actually several snipers that are hidden. That's actually why there's one guy out there. However, though, if you act, you can actually kill this guy quietly, and then you can move up. Wait for him to turn around one more time here. Snipers now! Ah! I want to show you guys the stealth approach on this. Move now. Move up to the next truck.
Okay. Okay. We're doing good. Okay, so they tur turned that way. I know I'm restarting a few times here, but I want to show you guys is that you can get through this part quietly and this little bit of different dialogue that changes if you do it quietly, but it, it just, this part is very easy to get detected in. Um, What's the story with this Logan guy? Okay, they're splitting up. Move up. Yeah, so I there he is. Chance just There he is. Sniper now. Ah, damn. There he is. Sniper. Ah, no. There he is. Oh man, I'm sorry everyone. Move up. There we go. Damn, there's two APCs sitting in the middle of the roadway. They'll cut us in half. Right. But they can't hit what they can't see. The lights. If we can get them out, we can make it past the APCs in the dark. If this tunnel is anything like the first one, we'll find a power room back the way we came. We'll need explosives. We found gear in trucks before. Yeah, great. You got an idea how I'm gonna search a truck without taking a couple of dozen slugs? There's no escape, Logan. Come out with your hands in the air. Hold your fire! I'm coming out! Are you crazy? Get back here! You've got a better idea? No matter what Just wait till they, um... Wait till they approach Chance. You! Stay down! This isn't Logan. Where's Logan? Oh! Okay, we take the grenades now. Go into the generator room. Power's out, Gabe. It worked. I can't see five feet in front of me, but I hear plenty of voices. Lots of spooks walking around out here. All right. I want you to pull back, find someplace safe, and hide there. I'll send back help when I can. They don't. If they did, we wouldn't be talking. Roger. Don't forget about me, man. IR means infrared. So now the the agency, they can't commandos can't see anything in the tunnels. It's gonna wipe them all out one by one now. Everyone down. There's Logan.
Okay, that's that APC there. Pretty much got them all. Okay. There we go. That's Archer. Sure nothing gets past here. They're setting the charges now. Everyone's expendable here, Lieutenant. If they're not off the bridge when I give the order, blow it anyway. Yes, sir. Let's get out of here. This mission is probably the most hated mission in the entire game. Um, remember, when I was a kid, everybody hated this mission. Um, I-70 Mountain uh, Bridge. Operative Gabe Logan, Colorado, USA. Archer has ordered that a bridge along I-70 be destroyed to prevent you and CBDC survivors from escaping the mountain. They then plan to bomb the mountain with sarin nerve gas. You must keep the bridge intact. Silently kill the agency commander before he gives the order to detonate and then disarm the, the charges, which are uh, planted on the scaffolding below. The bridge, uh, the scaffolding below the bridge. Once it's accomplished, continue towards your primary objective, the C-130 crash site. So somebody in the comment section, um... Anybody that knows about planes, let me know in the comments, what is sarin gas exactly? I know it's some kind of toxic gas. Isn't that stuff illegal? Um, uh, under, like, the Geneva Convention or something like that? But somebody let me know what that is, because the agency is planning on, um, uh, dropping it on the mountain. Okay, um... Okay, so now about this mission, uh, okay, yeah. So what we basically got to do is this. Um, you got to like hang on to the side of the bridge and just like sneak right past them like this. And you have a minute and 35 seconds until they blow the bridge. They have to take out the commander because the commander issues the order. Okay, commander doesn't see me here yet. What the? How did I... Yeah, this is why people hate this mission so much. See this? You get detected really quickly. Um, but this is basically... Just follow my strategy. This is how you do this. And some people might use this video as like a trophy guide. Um, but this is basically how you're supposed to do this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. It's just it's because it's, it's so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Go around them, get the tear gas, and then drop the commander. That's, um... Okay, now that the commander is dead, um, you know, commander's taken care of, we can disarm the charges, so we don't gotta worry about the charges. But they- the agency will still detonate the charges, though, if they spot you. So it's, um, uh, so this, we're just not on a timer anymore, that's just basically it. Okay, there's four or five charges, a C4 under the bridge. Um... Ooh, 
really, really tall drop. Okay. First guy right below us. Three C4 charges left. Okay. Next part, now we gotta go up here. The, you know, you want to know so fun, something so funny about this, guys? So one of my friends, he's like a really big trophy guy, right? Um, uh, oh wait. Oh, damn. <sighs> okay. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to climb down. So one of my friends, right, he's a really big trophy guy. And uh, basically what happened was he was raging with this mission so badly. And so we got into a party together and he wanted me to do this for him. So I did it through him through SharePlay. So he gave me the controller through SharePlay and I did it for him. <laughs> But yeah, um, I don't blame him either because, yes, this mission is a massive pain. Um, uh, it's like, this is the most hated Siphon Filter 2 mission is this one. Though, it, even though it is a very hated mission, um, I would say it's a pretty cool mission, though. I do like it. Like, you know, they're trying to blow up the bridge, and you're just sneaking around, you're trying to go around them, and you're trying to, like, detonate the, ch I mean, defuse the charges. Um, uh, okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that is, that's way too high. But yeah, you gotta watch out for the drops, though. That's the nice thing about the PS5 version, is you can just go back. But you gotta watch out for the drops. Um, uh, okay. see one of the charges already here. What's going on back up the road? Blue Team caught a couple GI Hero wannabes. They're questioning them right now. <laughs> They're not gonna last long. Okay, that's that guy down. So yeah, this mission is just a massive puzzle. It's like going up and down, up and down, trying to figure out the right platforms to go on. This sniper rifle, you can kill them quietly, just make sure you headshot them. right above me.
Oh. Yeah, it's two. It's Gotta constantly keep going around and around. Too high, too too much hoop, too much of a drop here. There we go, okay. Yeah. Sorry guys, just gotta get the hang of this again. Um Okay, that's that guy eliminated. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. Only one C4 charge remaining. Enough. Okay, yeah. Who was enough? No, no, no. There we go. Okay, everything's disarmed. There's no more bombs left on the bridge. Yeah, so you see why people really don't like this mission. Uh... Okay. Now we can go up top and we can get detected and I don't care at this point. Yep, you can't. Okay, so this right here, this is your team. Shut up. <laughs> is that all you got? I said shut up. There we go. Ramirez, where's Ferguson? Ferguson bought it on the mountain. Thompson, you okay? I'm okay, sir. A little banged up, but I can make it. We tried to fight him off, but they hit us hard. All right, stay with me and stay close. It's gonna be tight getting out of here alive. Teresa, I'm past the bridge. Give me a route. Just east of you is the rail line. Follow it south. It cuts directly through the mountains to the crash site. And Gabe? I've heard from Leon. Is she all right? She's okay for now. Once you're clear, I'll give you a report. But she's safe. Copy. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we got backup. Let's move. Uh, there were those grenades. Okay, that we got. Get him!
Why did that grenade not go off? Okay. Got one more left. guys here. I left Chance back in the first tunnel. I want you to get him and get off this mountain. Will do. Radio me when you get to a safe place. I'll try to Look get... Look out! Ah! Now I think we're going back to Leon again. Commander, Stevens wants me to personally thank you for the job you've done here. W wait a minute. The agency's going to silence now, anybody that's Commander, involved with them. Again. That's not agency. Plane refuel. We have another mission for you to fly. No one gets off that mountain alive. Yes, sir. Okay, um, Colorado, Colorado USA. Um, uh, you've escaped the airbase, um, uh, you've escaped the airbase facility and given yourself an adrenaline booster shot to stave off the effects of Cyber Filter. You must now find a way into the base control tower and then steal a chopper. If possible, observe Morgan as operatives and uncover any agency plans you can. Airbase personnel believe you're a terrorist under quarantine and will fire if they spot you. Avoid detection and use non-lethal means to eliminate any obstacles to your goal. Okay. Teresa, come in. I'm out of the holding complex. I read you. What's your plan? First, I'm gonna find a decent silenced weapon in case I run into any agency operatives. Then I'll have to find some way to get into that air traffic control tower. After all that, finding a chopper to hitch a ride on should be a piece of cake. How you holding up? I've been better. Out. Valor, one of the feds needs a lift over the main gate. I want you to double time it over to admin and drive the truck for him. Who are these guys, Sarge? What the hell are they up to? Don't ask questions, Airman. Just move. Yes, sir. Okay. So again, the MPs are innocent. We can't kill them, but we can kill agency um, operatives. Back here, okay. What took you so long? I've been waiting here for ten minutes. Yes, sir. I'm supposed to be at the main gates clearing a shipment. If I'm late, I'll have you busted down, Airman. Sorry, sir. I'll get you there. Teresa, I've got something. I think I just saw Thomas Holman here at the base. We went through agency training together. Holman? Don't know him. He was assigned to the FEMA unit. I'm betting he'll know where the labs are. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get him to tell me. Come alert. Whoa, what the? How have we? Okay. That guy right there. Yeah, so, um, uh, there's going to be a suppressed MP5, I think, inside the truck. But yeah, this game definitely deserves a remake. Um, like, imagine this game, like, remade like Resident Evil did. Um, uh, but if it does get a remake, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's gonna happen, because like I said, the evil Chinese general that, uh, you know, Sony's probably not gonna allow that to happen. 
Okay, there we go. Silent sniper rifle. Okay, perfect. Guy, we're gonna need to ace him really quickly. Okay, there we go. Some. I'll go check it out. Yeah, this soundtrack is just so creepy. Come on, no, no. There we go. Okay, I had to take him down in case he sees that other guy tasered. Now, like a taser, the thing about this is that, uh, y you are gonna, there is gonna be noise from a taser, and, you know, the person's not just gonna get knocked down instantly like that. Um, you know, it's had to be a really strong taser to so knock them out like that. I want my chopper cleared for immediate takeoff. Put the second chopper on standby. I'll be there. There's shortly. Morgan. The rest of the cargo looks secure. Everything from Farcom West is now accounted for. Sir, the F-22 is refueled and ready for takeoff, but the payload you are waiting for hasn't gotten here yet. Your pilot seemed anxious that I tell you. That'll be all, Airman. Get on the radio and ask Holman what the delay is. We can't afford any more screw ups. Falcon and Morgan. Hey. Right. Leon, I've confirmed it with Gabe. The agency is going to carpet bomb the mountain with nerve gas. You've got to stop them. I know. I'm going to take out that pilot and sabotage the plane. That should buy Gabe enough time to get off the mountain with any GIs he can save. Right. I'll let him know. Out. So somebody let me know in the comments down below if you know what that sarin gas thing is, because um, I've heard it before. Uh, I know it's some deadly gas, but I don't know too much about, like, planes and all that other stuff. I know more about firearms. Um, I know it's something obviously really bad, but, uh, let's see here. I've heard that term before, that, uh, sarin thing, so I know that that's a real weapon. Uh, here, okay. How do I get past this now? Eliminate the agency pilot. Oh. I missed him. The agency pilot, you gotta use a silent sniper rifle to get rid of him. waiting for the payload. Evidently, Holman had trouble getting it through the main gates. I'm told it's on its way now. There we go. Okay, let's sabotage the jet to, uh... Teresa, radio gave and tell him I'm almost clear. 
He may have a ride yet. You better hurry or he's not gonna need one. He's catching a train. What? I'll explain later. ETA on the chopper? I'm on my way to the tower now. I... Someone's coming. You can't let him find that pilot's body. I know. Out. ETA, um, uh, ETA means estimated time of arrival. Okay, yeah, so can't let this guy find the dead pilot. The pilot works directly for the agency, so that's why we were able to kill him. You know, he's not regular U.S. Air Force. Okay. Great. Oh, great. Well, I got through that one quickly. Searchlight. Now this part, I'll tell you guys, this part is a little hard, tricky. Um, you gotta have really good timing to get through this. I remember the trucks. When the truck comes through, you gotta time your run. Come on. Okay, gotta wait for another truck to come through. how they saw me through that. What's the holdup on that F-22 payload? It should be there. I cleared it through the gates myself. Well, let's go see what's holding them up. No! We must leave for New York now if the lab is going to have the time it needs to process this plasma. We don't have the samples from the girl yet. We can begin processing Fagan's sample and do hers when it arrives. Otherwise, the shipment will be delayed. Understood. Get to that other airstrip pronto and check on that F-22 personally. Then get over to the infirmary and see what's holding up that medic. He should be finished with her soon. Right. Should I wait here? Okay, you get the other chopper cleared and ready for takeoff. As soon as Holman gets back, I want you to personally deliver the girl's plasma to the labs. Understood. Teresa, Holman separated from the others. 
This may be my one chance to get to him. I'm gonna make my move now. Great, just don't kill him before you get the information, okay? Got it. Out. Let's see here, Holman. Uh, okay. Each come along. Oh, well. We've got a new I think Holman might have gone in here, actually. Oh, uh, right, he went in back in the hangar, okay. I could do without the escort, Airman. Sir, sorry, sir. Holman. Standard silence HK5. Good. Remember me? Leon, you escaped. Thank God. <laughs> Don't even try. I know what you're planning. No, I was trying to stall them, trying to find a way to get you <laughs> off the base without- You just loaded two missiles with Zarin gas payloads into an F-22 meant for the survivors of a plane crash. No, that's not true. You're I... a liar, Holman. And not a very good one. Another agency course you failed in training? You want to beg for your life? You tell me where Morgan is taking that plasma. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! I'm dying, Holman. Oh! Oh! Siphon filter is killing me and I am running out of patience. Where are they taking Fagan's plasma? And where were they planning to take mine? I can't help you. I don't know where they're taking the plasma. All I know is I was assigned to Morgan. He said we were picking up biomaterials for transport. Transport to where? I don't know. I only know that our next assignment was to pick up some discs from the Farcom Exposition Center in New York. They don't tell me anything. I was just following orders. Yeah? Well, we were all just following orders. Just make it quick. <gasps> you have no idea what you're involved in. Maybe you'll learn if you live long enough. I'd suggest not going into work tomorrow. Your boss might not be as forgiving as I am. Yeah, so that excuse following orders is not an excuse for doing horrible things. Okay. Pressed MP5. Okay, let's try to get to that tower now. Oh, come on. Each come alert. What that? <sighs> Each come alert. I just, I don't know how that, what, I, I'm just puzzled by how that didn't, um. I'm just, I'm just puzzled. Oh, great. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It's just bad luck right now. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, now to get into the control tower, you gotta create a distraction here, and, um... I remember this part, too. Uh... What the hell? Look out! 
Each come alert. Ah, oh, what the? What the hell? Look out! Come on, let's go. Okay, it's perfect distraction to get in the tower now. Holman, where are you? Check in. Sir, should I send someone for him? No, that won't be necessary. He's just a world-class screw-up. No, sir. Agent Holman has not checked in yet. The F-22 has been cleared for takeoff. Priority one. Personnel have not. H come alert. Ow. Priority one. Personnel have not seen it leave the hangar yet. I'll find out, sir. Hey, Sarge. These feds are getting pretty antsy out here. One of them is cleared for takeoff. Hold on. Agent Falcon, your chopper is cleared for immediate departure. The F-22 has not cleared its hangar yet. If your other agent is at the airstrip, you can fly directly there and pick him up. Copy. Out. Okay. What I have to do in this tower up here. Oh. All right. <coughs> I've got a transponder frequency of the downed plane. Now all you need is that ride. I think the agency is provided for me on that one. Falcon's chopper is cleared for takeoff. If I stop him, I can take the chopper and no one's the wiser. <coughs> nice plan. Good luck. Alright, I'm through waiting. You stay here. When Agent Holman arrives, tell him to contact me directly and I'll give him further instructions. Yes, sir. Now, Falcon, I'm pretty sure that Falcon, you can eliminate him. Let's see here if we can eliminate him. Yep, we can. Okay. Teresa, I've got a ride and clearance all the way to the crash site. GSAT's reporting a huge fire, probably caused by the crash, but who knows? Big smoke is shutting down all flights into the area, so be careful. <laughs> well, considering what those guys could have been breathing, a little smoke won't hurt them. Patch me through to Gabe and wish me luck. You got it. So yeah, Gabe fell on the train. I don't know how he got so lucky. Not yet. We're working on it. He's proving troublesome. I want him finished, even if you have to blow up the whole state to do it. We're on it. Out. Get some men down there. I want him taken out now. The soundtrack is great in this one. Uh... Colorado, USA, United Pacific Train 101, Operative Gabe Logan. You've escaped under missile attack from Archer by jumping onto a westbound United Pacific freight train. It will bring you within five miles to the down C-130. You must reach the engine and prepare to stop the train as it approaches the crash site. Archer is using his Blackhawk UH-60 to deploy an agency of ret retrieval and elimination team. He will destroy the train rather than let you get off the mountain alive. Eliminate any operatives that get in your way. Gabe, are you there? We are. 
You okay? It's about time you checked in. Even better. My adrenaline shot is wearing off, but I've got enough strength to come and get you. All right. I'm almost this um, now. this train mission is actually what was advertised in the commercial for Siphon Filter on TV back in the nineties. I remember it. Great. Yeah, this. No, idiot. Why would you throw a grenade on a moving train? I don't want Logan to get off this mountain, and we've got to get to that crash site now. Blow it! So the agency is even going to sacrifice their own men on the train. Everyone on that train is going to die. Uh, operative Gabe Logan, um, an oil tanker has been destroyed by an agency commander's grenade, splitting the, um, uh, commando's grenade, splitting the train in two. You managed to jump clear of the explosion, but now you're facing worse news. Archer has blown out a, a, a rail bridge ten miles ahead of the train's current position. You haven't got much time. You've got to reach the, the engine and stop the train before it reaches the, uh, gorge.
Uh, the flak jacket's full over here, okay. Do I got a shotgun? Oh, I do. Okay. Oh, great. The thing about that, even if you have, like, um, you know, it's kind of weird they use Kevlar, uh, they use Flakjack instead of Kevlar vests. But, um, flak jackets are meant mostly for shrapnel, but even if you're, like, standing something and you get shot with, like, a vest, you are, um, you're gonna get thrown back if you get hit with a shotgun. Okay, this is the front. I like how this train conductor sees all this shooting on and he's not even trying to stop the train too. Get to the front of the train now. Yeah, this is something you see in a Michael Bay movie, this right now. Transport crashed into this box canyon, but I'm not going to be able to get this bird in there. Gabe, Leon, I've intercepted a radio message from Archer. Let me patch it in. What's the ETA on the drop? I need those men now. There won't be a drop. Choppers can't get in until the fire dies down. 
I've sent in our best squad via the highway to the south. They should be there by now. There's been a security breach at the base. Thing has escaped. Be advised that she may also be en route to your locale. Go to code at channel 641. Copy. Archer's bringing in his elite hit squad. Climb to 4,000 feet. They're going to be expecting me to come in from the north, where the tracks cut into the canyon. But I've got a better idea. You're going to jump? I'm getting good at it. I'll parachute through the smoke right on top of them. It's the one thing they won't expect. Leon, Doppler shows a clearing in the smoke. One click south. <laughs> so this mission is the uh, best Colorado mission. The final Colorado mission. Good. I'll be there as soon as I get the discs. Gabe, yeah, those are likely Archer's best men down there. Try to keep your head down, okay? Right. Love the soundtrack in this uh, wreckage site. Uh, the agency has reached a crash site before you and and uh, before you and Archer has his men searching for the data disk. You've got to get to the disk before they do. Fortunately, they won't be expecting you to shoot in, so you can get the drop on them. Before the crash, the crash um, uh, the crate holding the disk was stashed in the tail section of the plane. It's likely still there. Retrieve it ASAP and rendezvous with Leon at the clearing on click south. The reason the disks were put in the crash uh, tail of the plane is tail, tail of the plane is typically where uh, you have the most chances of survival in an aircraft at the very back, usually, uh, when there's an accident. Uh, Love the soundtrack, okay. Sniper back there. There's a tail. Logan, looking for these? Damn it. Take him out now. Okay, there we go. When you're chasing Archer, this is the more annoying part of the mission because these these guys just go for your head and they headshot you once you're dead. Okay.
Yeah, Archer's squad can get really hard. There we go, okay. Get some snipers on that south ridge. Damn. Okay, Archer's gonna make a run for it now. You gotta drop him now at this point. Uh there's Archer. Got him. So long, Archer. That last shot on him is a little difficult to make, but. Got the discs. Let's go get Chance and the rest of the survivors. Teresa lost radio contact with them an hour ago. I don't think anyone else made it, Gabe. <coughs> Let's get out of here before we lose you too. How long until we'll have Yan Thing? It will take some time, but we'll get the information we need. I have to leave for China today. He wanted me to remind you that Shi Hao is not a patient man. Shi Hao, that's the um, Still cleaning up your Gregorov mess. If that's that Chinese had general had I was telling you guys about. Already be done. Oh yes, of course. Just as your agent handled Yang Xing. After all, who could have foreseen that a sick woman would outsmart and outfight an entire military base full of trained secret agents? I would have killed a lot of you and replaced you all with combat. Yet here I am. The problem, Mara, is that you are mistaking me for some stupid Euro-trash terrorist who actually cares what you think. Are we done yet? No, but it's enough for now. Archer's dead. Logan? Gone. Get a team together and get to the Farcom Exposition Center. NSA has already got a cleanup crew in there, and I want to make sure Fagan didn't have any other backup discs laying around. On the way. You don't have her. No. We won't have much time to finish processing the plasma we need as it is. You have you to- You will get your plasma, Doctor. Now get back to work. The FBI is looking for these fugitives in connection with a rash of terrorist crimes that have struck the U.S. in recent weeks. Our inside sources tell us that these fugitives are the focus of the FBI's investigation into the subway and park bombings in Washington, D.C., as well as the down- No, that was Black Baton who did that, Romer's terrorist group. So much for going to the authorities. The agency has moles in every major enforcement agency. We knew we were on our own anyway. I think you should sue them. Those were awful pictures of you. Any luck yet? No. These are third generation encryption codes. Leon? It'd take me at least a week to hack these codes. I'm gonna need the keys or there's no way to break into the data before... <laughs> you feeling any better? I feel fine. The serum I've given you will only slow the virus's effects. It won't stop it. How long do we have? Don't know. Never seen anything like this before. I'm no doctor, but the blood workup I've just done doesn't make any sense. All right, look. There's only one place to go from here. The Farcom Exposition Center. Holman said that the agency was getting ready to do a sweep of the Farcom files there. It makes sense. If Fagan was smart enough to make a complete set of backup data on the Siphon Filter project, he wouldn't have been stupid enough to store the encryption codes in the same place. The codes must be there somewhere. You still have a safe house in Virginia? Lawrence Mujari. Runs a lab out of a mortuary. Hey, I'm not dead yet. No, the place is a front. He runs the med lab there, freelancer. Mows the lawns to keep in shape. You trust him? With my life. He spent 10 years as a refugee from apartheid rule in South Africa. I helped him get into the States, and he's responsible for that serum you're taking now. He'll help us. Then let's go. We're running out of time. Look on the bright side. You won't have to wear a tux this time.
I gotta cosplay for this part here, guys. We were right. The NSA has shut down the entire exposition center. They're using regular army to box the place up. They've got guards patrolling everywhere. I'll have to be careful. Don't want to kill any innocents. Sure you don't need any help? You stay with Teresa. I'll stay out of their way. Hold on. You found something? We're in the ancient Tron exhibit, sitting up for the final phase of the operation. We've got a box of data disks here. You wanna come check it out? On my way. You stay here and stand watch. Holden claims he didn't give Zing any information, but I don't believe him. Logan might just show up tonight. Yes, sir. And stay out of sight of any army grunts. Our operation here is totally black box. The last thing we need here is a jurisdiction squabble with the NSA. New York, USA, Farcom Exo Center. Leon's intel from the airbase indicates Fagan hit a disk with an encryption code somewhere in the Farcom Exo Center. Morgan is leading an operation to find a disk. You'll plan a C4 charge, distract the guards, and take the code from him. If needed, use the building's ventilation system to reach your goal. The Farcom Exo Center has been shut down by the NSA, that's National Security Agency, ending an investigation into Fagan's, um, into Fagan's involvement in the DC terrorist incident. US Army uh, troops are currently boxing exhibits for shipments of uh, shipment to government warehouses. Avoid uh, contact with these troops if possible, and if necessary, incapacitate them with your crossbow or hand taser. Okay. Logan! Okay. There we go. Love the soundtrack and submission. Move up on that sniper. Got him.
You in the vent. Stop where you are. Oh damn. Okay, so these guys, the I forgot about these guys completely. Um, these are the MPs. Um, uh, they're they're completely innocent. They're being manipulated by the agency, and so you can't kill them. Here we go. Snyder hasn't reported in. Let's check it out. Damn, this is bad. Call command and tell them we have an intruder. Too much interference in here. I'll head back and put in the call. I'll stay here and look around. To tase these these guys. We're gonna have to take the other guy down before he radios in for backup. I'm sorry, guys. I just forgot how many of them there are here. You're just in the most unexpected places. Okay. Hey, come here and take a look at this. She's hot. Is this last month's issue? Yep. I don't think anyone will miss this. Do you? Weird, got it. There's gonna be a guy that's gonna be walking around up there. Yep, that guy. Damn it. Damn. Yeah, I gotta say that the, the alarm system in this game is so unforgiving, it's ridiculous. It's like they just see you just for a second and you're just alerted like that. It's it's a bit ridiculous. Okay. Make sure you save one crossbow bolt. Logan just went rat. Get some men in those vents. you and Teresa to pull back. Put at least half a mile between you and this building. But Gabe... Do it. I'll take care of the explosives. Oh, no. Ah! Damn. Yeah. Sometimes you just get really unlucky.
Okay. Is that everyone? What the? Come on. Seriously? Oh, man. That's just, that's, that's, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you just get screwed over by something really stupid, you know? Yeah, that, that, like... Normally fairly good at this game, but having some bad luck at times. He died, okay. Yeah, that was just a bit ridiculous last time. part here now, uh... Airmen are here. Okay. Damn it. What? Um. Yeah. That, you guys know that was that was that was that was stupid at that point that I got detected on that. That that was no. The thing about this is I knocked out two airmen, so the decoy is gonna kill them, though. Which wouldn't really make much sense, um...
subject is not in this section. Okay, watch this. Oh, this part right. Damn it. What? Okay, yeah, that's that's what I gotta say is that the the, the detection in this is just Yeah, that's the worst part of the mission is that part right there. You can't kill them and they can't see you either. I don't think we're going to encounter any more GIs at this point. can't see a damn thing. Command says the power went out for this section of the building. We're supposed to stand ground until they get it back online. What would knock the power out? Hell if I know. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn. Such bad luck. I wasn't trying to climb down, but... and get in here and you're gonna need your night vision goggles. Okay. Yeah these guys are agents. These guys are you can kill. Yeah, the GI should have been coming, running. They would have heard that. I don't know how they didn't hear that. 
Um, now this part is a little confusing, but I think what you have to do is I think to climb on top of the rocks. I think that's what you gotta do. Damn, okay, he's not jumping to that. Oh, maybe this? Okay, it's this. There we go. Yeah, so when I was a kid, this part I remember, this part was the hardest part for me to figure out, but you had to literally climb on these things. Oh, come on. Yeah, you see, that sucks. Uh, yeah, climbing isn't the best in this game. Leon, I'm at the China exhibit. Is the decoy prepped? Yes. Now. There's been an explosion. Logan, all of you, go help finish them. Sir, the explosives! I'll take care of them. Get moving! Short circuit the gates now. You're cut off, Morgan. It's just you and me. Give yourself up, Logan. Stevens wants you to come in. He wants to sit down and discuss things with you and Leon Zing. I know what Stevens wants. You had her and you lost her. You always were second-rate, Morgan. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, um... Ancient China Exhibit. Morgan has retrieved the encryption disk and is now planting explosive devices throughout the Ancient China Exhibit. When those explosives are detonated, the entire building will collapse, covering the agency's tracks. You must find a way to disarm the explosives and get the disk from Morgan. However, Morgan is carrying a dead man switch. If he drops it, any premio, um... Uh, bombs will detonate instantly. Do not kill him until all bombs are disabled. Hey, boss. What are you doing here? Thought you could use the help. I gave you an order to pull back. After this is over... After this is over. Gotcha. Okay, you take care of the bomb. I'll take care of Morgan. Got it. And Gabe, when you spot Morgan, don't kill him. He's carrying a dead man switch. And if he drops it while any bombs are armed, we'll all die. So wait for my signal before you take him out. Morgan's heading east. I'm on him. So he's got to cover Teresa while she disarms all the bombs. And then when she disarms the bombs, you can drop Morgan. Gabe, you need to stop Morgan from priming it. Find the other bomb. Thought you were faster than that, Logan. I found the bomb. Copy. I'm on my way. Heard a train is spoke so long. Get him off me! me a lot of time to work here.
hot. Whoa, what the? Okay, that's some um, that's some ridiculous stuff. Is that they just run right past you, all those bullets, and just um drop Teresa like that? Okay. Oh, locked. Let's head back. I don't think there's any more armed bombs in the chain. If you see Morgan, drop him. Teresa might want to wait for me. Let him go, Gabe. I need you to watch my back. Can you speed it up a little? Oh, he didn't want me to go slow. Is it oh, it's right there, okay. Oh, damn. Gabe, I can tell from the solenoid this is the last bomb in the chain. Might take a little longer to fuse. I'll keep Morgan busy. Let me know when you've got it. And all I need to do is release this switch. Gabe, keep him talking. Don't kill him until this bomb is defused or he'll drop the detonator. Okay, so just avoid Morgan here. Morgan, I would say, is probably the most annoying boss in the game because of the fact that he has a, a grenade launcher that never runs out of ammo. Do this for um forty more seconds. Thirty seconds left, okay. Ok. 
Okay. Now we can kill him. Remember that crossbow that I told you guys about? Oh god, see that? Damn. Okay, yeah. It just, uh... Eat. I would say he is the most annoying boss in the game. He just keeps an infinite loop just running around. Ah, oh, damn. Sorry, guys. It's just, it's, it, it is a bit annoying to take him down here. Uh... Wait for it. Oh. See, yeah, that's why you keep the crossbow. Because when you get one good shot on him, that's it, he's done. But I'm sorry I died so many times in that boss, guys. It's just, this this battle is so annoying. With the, He just spams just nothing but grenade launchers at you. It's not going to be much of an agency after you get through with them. That's right. Leon, we've got the discs. We're on our way out now. Let's go. Thanks, Lawrence. I'll be in here if you need anything. We'll be fine. Okay, these are the encryption codes, but the data is incomplete. It won't let me open the files. But Chance got all the disks. I was there. They're not here. Gregorov. What? Contact Gregorov. You said he showed up at the Farcom warehouses just before you were forced to leave. Why was he there? The SVR was called in to deal with the missile launch. Maybe. Or maybe he was after the same thing we were. The siphon filter data. Do you think he had someone on the inside? You know him. What do you think? Could he be working with the agency? I doubt it. But let's find out. That's right. You guys go way back, don't you? We were both in Afghanistan. I wouldn't say we were friends, but we respect each other. Leon Zing, I thought perhaps you would be calling. Yes, uh, of course, we must talk. But in person, yes? In a public place? But why? Very well, if you insist. I know a place. Da, I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, Mara is there. So yeah, this part is like a really bit bit cringe, guys, when you see this part. Um it's like, I don't know why Leon asked to meet him at a nightclub, like, disco place. That's, like, the worst place to meet. But, uh, that's where they decided to meet. And he goes to the disco nightclub place in his, like, full hey, Russian hey, uniform. Greg it's Rob's just, um... Inside. Copy. We're only a block away. Call if you need help. Why would you meet at this place? Okay. Using Fagin's encryption codes, you discovered that you didn't retrieve all the necessary data files in Kazakhstan. It's likely that Gregorov's SVR forces got the rest after you left. You've now, um, uh, come to Club 32, a trendy dance club in downtown Moscow to meet with Gregorov. 
Before you could contact him, Mara Aramov appeared in attack. In the ensuing chaos, Gregorov fled. You must catch Gregorov before he escapes and convince him to give uh, you the remaining data. His bodyguards seem to be in collusion with Aramov and are expendable targets, but the Russian militia shows on, uh, on the scene. Avoid any conflict with them. The soundtrack in this mission is really good, though. I think I got them all, okay. Uh. Whoa, what the? What? What on earth? What? Okay, yeah. Some nice explosions in this game just come out of nowhere. Pump action shotgun's definitely very helpful here. Peek out one more time. Whoa! Damn. Ugh. I really hate when that happens, when they just, they just chuck grenades at you like that. That's...
Oh, I see him. Okay, looks like I gotta climb up here. So you can't open fire on the, um, on the Russian police, you can't open fire on them. Okay. Let's see here, um... Oh, here we go. This guy's getting super annoying. Grenades at least come in handy. Ah. Oh. Oh man, I'm just having such bad luck. I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm I should be up on my game here, but I'm just I'm having such bad luck with this sometimes. Um. Okay, that guy up there is getting really annoying. We got him, okay. Thank you. 
Oh, there was a guy back there too, but at least I got out. Okay. Ooh, that was close. What did I do? Idiot! У меня нет времени. Залезай. Черт возьми! Догоните его! Well, she can't aim. Um, you know, she was former. Um, she was former KGB, and she can't even aim. Um, a Russian Republic industrial uh, district. Um. Uh, Moscow. Gregorov has fled through the streets of Moscow, running from the militia, his own bodyguards, um, and you. You must catch him before he escapes. You'll need to get close, um, and use your taser to incapacitate him. He's no good to you dead. No, Gabe and Teresa have also come under fire and can't lead, uh, lend assistance, so you won't have any backup on this operation, okay? These guys you can kill, um, uh, the gangsters, uh, but you can't, um, uh, you can't kill the Russian police. Gabe, Gregorov is on foot, northbound through the city streets. I'm in pursuit. Okay, we're gonna- I remember this though, um, uh, these cops, um, uh, to get through them you have to find the tear gas launcher. It should be in a cop car. Oh, there, okay. Nightclub that we were at before. Okay, tear gas launcher. Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. Okay, we gassed all, all the cops there. That cop is on the roof. If we fire the tear gas launcher at him, we're gonna kill him. Okay, 
this way. Yeah, I remember that. I, I, that I never forgot as a kid. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hang on to that, grab that rail. Oh, oh, come on. It's a, it's. When you keep rolling, they're not supposed to be able to headshot you. Oh man, yeah, that guy with the grenade launcher's gotta go. Um Oh man, I'm I'm getting I'm starting to get annoyed now. Yeah, um, so s there's certain parts in the game where you get through and you have, like, sections like this. Like, yeah, that's that's just ridiculous. Ah, damn. I was dead, like, five or six di times to the same guy constantly. And runs right underneath his building here. Yeah, let Greg Rob get some distance on you, cause he's just gonna keep he's gonna keep trying to get you in the head. I could not get to him. The American was in the disco, but I have not seen her since. No, Logan is not here. I do not know how he got away. All right. Back to headquarters. There has been change of plans. Uh, Russian Republic Volkov Park. Gregorov has left the streets and entered Volkov Park. He hopes to lose you in the fog and darkness, but keep after him. If he escapes, any chance of getting a cure for siphon filter is lost. So you're gonna find out what's going on here, why Gregorov is acting so suspicious. Oh, oh man, it just, yeah, the explosions, that's one thing I hate about the old Siphon Filter games, I tell you guys, is the explosions in these games suck. Like, they're, they're so annoying. Oh man. Okay. No more no more playing around. Now I'm, now I'm... Okay, one down.
you, woman? Stop hounding me! Yeah, you gotta keep just following him and just can keep rolling. Oh, great. where we got night vision from, but okay. Uh, let's see here, the map. Okay, we're gonna be going this way then. Probably just avoid a lot of these guys here. Oh, wonderful. Oh, he's got some pretty good aim that he can take out all the lights like that that quick. Whoa, whoa, uh, I didn't see all the snipers, uh. Uh, oh, I still have this thing, I can still use this. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, no, 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 come on, come on. I'm sorry, everyone, I feel so embarrassed because I'm normally pretty good at this game, but I'm just, like, messing up so much. Okay. What? Oh my god, what is this, some Call of Duty quickscoper here? I don't know how he... Okay, the snipers are down. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. okay, where am I going? Okay. 
going straight ahead. No, come on. You've got... Yeah, this... Yeah, that's probably where they want you to take cover. Damn, I'm starting to get annoyed at this part. Ugh, I'm, I'm promised to do better in the next mission, guys. I'm just, I'm so embarrassed here that I, I'm normally really good at these games, and I'm just doing so terrible right now. You know what, forget this. I'm just I'm not even gonna bother killing these guys, I'm just gonna go straight under the bridge. Forget this. These guys are annoying Lily the hell out of me so much is Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That was just, that's this whole ambush just threw me off guard and uh, just messed it up bad. Okay, this is the final part in the park here now. Uh, yeah. I did terrible on that part. Okay, uh, Gregorov has stopped running and has turned to fight. You have to inca incapacitate him with your taser, but he's armed and ready to kill, so be cautious. You may need to create a distraction to get the upper hand. This mission I remember now, Stop good. And face me. Gabe, I've cornered Gregorov. He's not going down without a fight, but we need to keep him alive. Do you read? Gabe! Do you read? <coughs> <laughs> right. I'll think of something. Now basically what you gotta do here is just shoot out all the lights.
some more light in the park. Ah! Okay, all pa all lights are out in the park. That's the best you can do. Leon, are you there? Gabe, where have you been? Are, are you all right? We're fine. We may lose the deductible on our rental, though. I'm in the park, at the Cossack statue. I've got Gregorov. On the way. Gabe, I know why Gregorov's been acting so strange. Why is that? Miss Lianzing, I'm Vladimir Nidobry of the SVR. I'm afraid you must come with us. But this isn't who you think it is. This isn't Yuri Gregorov. He's an imposter. Yes, we know. So that's why Gregorov was acting so strange. That wasn't the real Gregorov. Um, uh, it was an imposter the whole time. Yeah, that guy definitely deserves a beating after that. After what he put me through in those missions, yeah, he definitely deserves that. Both seem to know her pretty well. It's a long story. Who's she working for? I thought you said she worked for Markinson. I'm not sure anymore. He has finally broken. Grigoryev is being held at point 36. <sighs> point 36. What is point 36? Point 36 is a women's gulag in Siberia. It's located in the city of Kazik, Russian for White Tomb. You mean Algier Prison? What? Built during the Stalinist purges to house the wives and mothers of political dissidents. It was shut down by Khrushchev in 54. Supposedly. But it wasn't. You both seem to know a lot about it. I read a lot, especially about repressed women. Thousands of women died there. No idea where their children or husbands were. If the prison didn't kill them, the cold and heartbreak did. I haven't read about it. I've been there. I was held there eight years ago after being captured in Afghanistan. My first assignment for the PRC, before the agency recruited me. A woman's gulag that doesn't exist. A perfect place to make political prisoners disappear. It would appear that Glasnost has its limits. There is more. Grigoryev has been investigating an international arms consortium. The same group that controls your agency. It wants ours as well. Grigoryev played along when they were content to sell arms to the Sandinistas and Contras and were fueling the war between Iranians and Iraqis. The SVR didn't care. Let the West destroy itself. Exactly so. But the siphon filter virus changed everything. Grigoryev discovered that Xi Hao was going to purchase the virus. The leader of the Heilongjiang, the province that's trying to break away from the PRC. It is not broken away yet. This province has been contested by our two countries for over 400 years. If Xi Hao is successful, the PRC will go to war. And Russia will be drawn in as well. Xi Hao will see to that. The only person who can stop the arms transfer now is Gregorov. That's why he was at the Farcom warehouses at the same time we were. He was looking for the same data disks. Where he also thought he'd gotten all the data. For security reasons, Grigoryev kept all of his files hidden. The imposter was unsuccessful in his attempt to locate them. And we knew nothing of it. We have to break him out. You do not have much time. They have already ordered his execution. Grigoryev will die on the electric chair tomorrow night at midnight. I'll go in. No, you're not strong enough to. I have to do this, Gabe. It's Please. my life at stake if we don't get the other half of the Farcom data. And it's my people who will die if Shi Hao gets phase two of the siphon filter virus. Besides, I'm the only one who knows the layout of the prison. Okay, he's your... So, um, I, yeah, I'm sorry for that previous mission, how I just kept messing up, guys, but, uh, uh, basically for what's going on here is that the Russians didn't care about what was going on for the most part until they found out that the Chinese were gonna get the siphon, the siphon filter virus, because Heilon Chang, um, that's the province that's in north, um, northeastern China that wants to break away, and both Russia and China are contesting it, and, um, uh, Xi Hao wants to purchase the siphon filter virus from the agency, to use it on the people in Heilon Chang, and this would probably directly bring Russia into a conflict and basically start a war between Russia and China. So this is what this is ultimately about here. I hope you know what you're doing.
I'm in. It won't be long now. We're at the rendezvous point. It's all clear here. I'm making my way to the lower power room now. When I get there, I'll shut it down. So this mission is really creepy, um, Russian Republic Algier Prison, Siberia. It's been revealed that the man you fought was Gregorov, was actually an imposter who was trying to find Fagan's missing data files. The real Gregorov is being held in secret at Algier, a secluded gulag in Siberia used for housing political prisoners, mostly women. Only Gregorov knows the location of the final data disk. Gregorov has been scheduled for execution tonight in one hour. You will break into the prison, shut down the power before the execution, and escape of Gregorov in tow. Note, most of the inmates at Algier are political prisoners. Help them if you can, but remain focused on the mission. So, um, uh, basically, uh, during the- this was a gulag that was built during Stalin's time, uh, and, uh, Khrushchev, what they were saying earlier, Khrushchev, he was, you know, Stalin's successor. When he came to power, he de-Stalinized Russia. He did actually save a lot of people from dying uh, when he de-Stalinized Russia, and um, he shut down a lot of the gulag networks. But however, Khrushchev was unable to shut down every single gulag. The reason for that is because Stalin made the Soviet economy is so dependent on gulag um, forced labor that if he shut all of them down, the Soviet economy would crash. And so there's a lot of a lot of people that still think places like this possibly still exist in Russia, and the Russian government actually does take people to places like this very far away. But gulags, these these were really really bad places. My grand my great grandfather was actually a, a prisoner in a gulag in Siberia. Uh, if you want to know why my great grandfather was a in a gulag, was because he was a, a Polish soldier that was on the eastern. Um, my great grandfather was a Polish soldier that was on the eastern front in um uh, of Poland in 1939. So in 1939, two weeks after Nazi Germany invaded Poland, um uh, the Soviet Union invaded Poland. From the east, they had a pact with Nazi Germany called the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. My great grandfather was actually one of the soldiers that was defending the eastern side of Poland from the Soviet attack, and um, he got um, captured and he got sentenced to a gulag. He got put on a train. Um, you know, that was two days. When he woke up, he was somewhere in um, uh, Asia at that point. It was not Europe anymore. Uh, and um, what happened was, when he got off the train, the Soviet soldiers gave the prisoners spicy fish to eat, but they didn't give them any water, and so people would die of dehydration and like the frozen tundra. Uh, and uh, what happened was my great-grandfather had to mine rocks in a long-sleeved shirt in, you know, you know, negative 20, 30 degree weather. It was, you know, really, really horrible time. But my, uh, my great-grandfather, though, he was a, um, uh, he was a tough man. He was a soldier. And so he was able to toughen it out for a year and a half. And uh, basically what ended up happening is um, uh, when Nazi Germany invaded the Soviet Union, Stalin drafted the Gulag um, prisoner population. And so at that point, my great-grandfather, he was drafted into the, um, uh, into the uh, Anders Army. Anders Army was a Polish army that was in the West. It was an army that the British helped to create from a lot of Soviet prisoners also. And this army ended up fighting in Italy. So my grand uh, great-grandfather ended up fighting in the Italian um, front. And he survived the war, but, um, but what happened was when he went back to Poland, Poland was still Stalinized at that point, and so he was scared that he was going to get thrown back in a gulag, and so what he did was he went to um, Britain, and he stayed in Britain for a few years. When Stalin died and Khrushchev took power and then you know, Poland became de-Stalinized and things calmed down, it was still, you know, a communist dictatorship, but it was like, you know, not as crazy as during Stalin's time, he was able to return. <laughs> Okay, this part here. So, um, here's the thing about this, um, Stay here. 
Everything's going guards to that would be in gulags would usually be the guards that are the most loyal to the um to the regime. And so these um uh these would be some really really bad people. That would be the guards in a place like this, typically very sadistic also. They enjoy beating prisoners. And um here's a you know fact for you guys. A lot of people actually do not know this, and I tell people this all the time, but um damn it. Ah, damn, I don't know. How I didn't... How that happened there. One second here. Yeah, got him there. So, I tell people this all the time, and I have a lot of people that tell me that I'm a liar. They tell me that that, that it's not true, but it actually is true. Um, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but do you know who built the original gulag system in, in Russia? You can look this up if you don't believe me. It was actually not the communists, not the Bolsheviks. You know who built the original gulags in, in Russia? It was actually the monarchists, the Tsar, the Russian king. He was the one who actually built the first gulag network. Um, uh, during the Tsar's reign in Russia, um, it was not called, they weren't called gulags, it was a term that communists used, but it was the exact same thing. I forget what they were called under the Tsar's um, rule, but basically this was forced labor where they would deport, um, the Tsar would deport people that were um, uh, political prisoners to him specifically. And so the... King, the Russian king, had these, you know, gulag camps also, where he would throw people in. A lot of Polish people got thrown in there, and oftentimes Polish people got thrown in there for, you know, for being Roman Catholic, which the, the, um, uh, Roman Catholic or Jewish, which the, um, uh, the Russians discriminated heavily against Jews, they discriminated heavily against Catholics. Um, also, if Poles taught their kids Polish, the Russian Tsar would oftentimes deport them, they tried to Russify Poland, um, that happened as well. And I tell people this a lot of times, and people are like, no, you're, you're not, you're not telling the truth, it was only the communists had gulags you know the monarchists didn't do that no they did both of them did the the communists they uh they had way more of them they had way more of the forced labor camps when the communists took power they greatly expanded the network but they weren't the ones who originally built it they got the idea from the monarchists Okay. Damn it. Oh, come on. That's that's one thing I don't like is that you get caught like instantly. Like it's like instant detection when they're um uh when they spot you. One thing that I I always heavily disliked about the stealth in this game. Okay, here we go. So yeah, these these were really, you know, horrible places, the gulags and um the, um, uh, oh, guards coming up here. Okay, got past them there. 
the um uh stalin was the absolute worst with them out of all the out of all the russian leaders in history stalin was the worst of the gulags um he built the most amount of them and the scary thing about the gulag system guys is that to this day we don't know how many people died in the gulags under the soviet system because the soviets didn't keep records of that because so many people they would just perish they just dumped their bodies they wouldn't really keep track of that and so to this day uh oh damn ah uh, damn to this day so to this day we um a lot of people still don't know you know what the total amount of victims actually is Hide right here. This is where I would always hide here. But uh, the the amount of people that died in gulags, you know, minimum number is probably in the hundreds of thousands. You know, the higher number is millions. But you know, Stalin had you know hundreds of these places. Damn, Stalin had hundreds of these places. What? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get annoyed at the stealth sometimes. It's just Also that um That uprising that happens in Call of Duty Black Ops, Vorkuta. Um, Vorkuta is actually a real gulag, and that uprising actually did happen. The one that happened in Black Ops, it actually did happen, and it failed. The prisoners took control of the, um, the gulag, they got to the armory, they got the guns, but the Soviet army eventually came in, and, uh, they got destroyed. And, um, uh, but there was a few uprisings that actually happened in gulags. Oh, this is the same place that I was at before, okay. Um... Got off prison power, okay. Gabe! This used to be the laundry, now it's a security checkpoint with cameras and regular patrols. How many guards at the checkpoint? I can't see, but it sounds like there's just one. In that case, the cameras are probably on some kind of rotation. It's just a matter of time. That's something I don't have a lot of. Right. Wait till the camera turns off and then make your move before it comes back on. Got it. This part's a little tricky. Remember this now. Here. Damn, how, how can I tell if the camera's off or not? Okay. Damn it. Okay, this is, this is getting a bit ridiculous, yeah. Damn it. That's like a signature that the, somebody the siphon filter characters say that. Damn it. Okay, now I got here. Gabe says it, Leon says it. Рада тебя опять увидеть, Гриша. Хорошо выглядишь. Я удивляюсь. У тебя еще осталось чувство юмора, Катюш. Купишь мне сигарет. Ха-ха! Тогда будешь должна мне шесть пачек. Ну до завтра. Gabe, I've made it to the security checkpoint, but it may be too late. They're taking Gregor off to the execution chamber now. Then you don't have much time. Move now!
Катя! Эй, Катя! Где ты пропала? Так, мы должны камеру down there. Where am I going? What's... Hopefully that camera doesn't see me. Okay, where's the power, uh... Okay, it's cl really close. Идите посмотрите, что случилось с электричеством. Там заваруха! Сваливать надо! Okay, uh, shutting down the power has stayed the execution, but it's um, had another un unforeseen effect. Before the prison could switch to emergency power, several cell block security grids went offline. A riot is broken as a result. Get Gregorov out of there ASAP. The plan is to get to the top of the east wall and jump into the river. There's a tank of air waiting at the, at the bottom. If you encounter any armed prisoners, do not kill them. Incapacitate them by any means necessary. Dang. Okay, no more stealth. Now we go loud. Where am I going here? Let's just see. Okay, fine, Greg Rob. Okay, other way. This is gonna be risky, ah. Uh. Oh what the I don't know how I got through that, okay. Gabe, there's someone else in here. I just found a room full of dead guards. Could it have been prisoners? No, it's a secured area. The majority of the rioters are confined to the cell blocks. The Russians say they don't know of any other operatives working the prison. Watch your back. <coughs> oh yeah, always out. Yeah. 
Ah. Now, um, uh, this part in the story, guys, I actually do not remember. So, um, uh, anybody in the comment section, let me know. Why did Mara kill the guards in the gulag? That part, I, I, I don't remember why she did that. The Unseen! Gregoroth! What was Mara doing here? Yes, Mara Aremov. Yes, she was here to witness the execution. But when the power went out, she killed the guards. I do not understand. Neither do I, Yuri. <coughs> but there's no time. We're going over the wall. I have two tanks of air at the bottom of the river. Yes, I am ready. You do not look so well, Lianxi. What I'm is I'm fine, the... I'm fine. I'll tell you all about it when we get out of here. Let's go. Leon, behind you! Yuri, <coughs> can you fight? No, I'm too weak. The beatings. Got it. <coughs> Look, I want you to stay behind me. Move only when I tell you. Understood? Duh. What? Okay, no, no, no. That was stupid. I got headshotted behind cover. I don't. Uh, yeah, that's um. That was stupid. Um. Clear. Yuri, move up. There we go. No! Damn. <laughs> Yuri, all clear. <laughs> Damn it. Leon, you're not going to be able to save everyone. Stay focused on the mission. <laughs> right. Out. Hear a lot of action on the other side of that door. The riot must have spilled into that cell block. <coughs> Wait here while I check it out. <coughs> There's at least a dozen snipers along the wall in there. We're gonna have to find another way out. There is no other way. And we're in trouble. Maybe this will help. Smoke grenade? Where did you- I found <laughs> it on the dead dog. <laughs> Alright. Here's the plan. When I give the word, throw the grenade, then close your eyes, hold your breath, and run like hell. I'm gonna be right behind you. Don't stop till you get through the block. Got it? Nah. Ready? Okay. Throw it now. Why did you stop? The security gate is closed. A good shot. Now we go. Those women are out of control. We've got to get through to the 
This was just like this in Varkuda. In Varkuda, when the prisoners got broken to the armory, they just killed all the guards. A lot of times, no mercy. Um, uh, and at the same time, is uh, you can understand why the prisoners are like that. Because imagine being, like, for years and years and years, you know, trapped in this, like, you know, this far away place you've never been in this remote place in Siberia is frozen tundra and just being forced like slave labor just working yourself to death every day barely getting enough food and then you finally get enough energy to fight back and you finally get like a gun you're gonna freak out and you're gonna do everything in your power to fight back against something like that Well, that was close, okay. Okay, got the tear gas launcher. Very good. We make it out of here. Okay. I don't like this. Guy's getting annoying. Yeah, this guy's getting really annoying here. He's running around and I can't get a clear headshot on him. Yeah, I had to literally shoot through his flak jacket because it got so ridiculous. Okay. Is the area clear? Should be clear. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Take this. I, I think you're strong enough to fight now. Just... Stay with me. We're almost out of here. I will be right behind you. The Russian government probably has places still like this. They're probably very off-the-grid places that you don't know about where they actually keep political prisoners very far away. And um, uh, to this day, um, no Gulag victim has ever gotten any compensation from the Russian government for this. Uh, here. Die, you bastard! Behind okay. us! Nineteen Eleven is definitely like my favorite handgun in the game. Get up to that wall. <coughs> Stay close. We're almost out of here. <coughs> Are you alright? <coughs> Don't worry about me. Are you ready? Very well. I move when you move. Good 
Whoa, whoa. Damn, I wish that Greg Rob hadn't just rushed out like that. Okay, we got it. Out of there. Ready for pickup. We're about to get wet. Right. <laughs> Gabriel Logan, we meet again. Okay. Glad I, to see you alive. I can't breathe. Leon. Leon Singh. You are sure that you will not keep her in hospital here? No, we have a safe house. Without the vaccine, there's nothing you can do. You have what you need now. The agency will have to negotiate with you. You've been a big help, Gregorov. I owe her my life. Good luck to you both. I have a war to stop. You still do not have Leon Singh. And you still do not have phase two of the virus. Is this correct? No, but we will have... Shipment dates have been missed, Mr. Stevens. Soon we will not need her. I find it so creepy that they're like in, in some church also in the back room where they're like talking about this. That is impossible. Miss Aramoth has taken care of Gregorov. I'm telling you, Logan has him. But it doesn't matter. Logan will try to use Fagan's data disk to negotiate for the vaccine. When he does, we will have her. I am concerned, Mr. Stevens, that you are not being as useful as I had hoped. We have them. It's only a matter of when. You are running out of time. Do not disappoint me. I think she's stable now. I thought your grandmother was kidding when she insisted on the medicine bag. Yeah, she's sweet. But you can thank Lawrence's medical knowledge for her reduced fever, not some superstitious bag of herbs. How long can we keep the virus in check? Not sure. I have no idea why. But her red blood cells are multiplying at an incredible rate. The virus is in production mode, creating plasma exponentially. Maybe. Like I said, I'm a pathologist, not a hematologist. You ready to make the call? The trace proof relays are all ready to go. Put him through. Logan, this is Lyle Stevens. I've been expecting you. Stevens? Doesn't sound familiar. But then I never could tell one pencil neck admin from another. We want you and Leon to come in. We have much to discuss. I don't think so, Stevens. I'd already decided to quit when my old boss tried to kill me. Having my transport plane shot out of the sky pretty much sealed the if deal. If you bring her in now, we can still save her life. You don't have much choice. Really? It seems that Markison was pretty reckless with agency security. Fagan had access to all of the agency's identity files and copied them for insurance. I now have all of Fagan's data disks and their encryption codes. Look, Logan, I don't know you, but I know that you are a loyal agent who wants to do the right thing for your country. You're not going to do anything that will jeopardize national security. Wrong, Stevens. What I am is a tired, angry fugitive whose partner is dying. Don't try me. What do you want? An even trade. Leon's vaccine for the discs. Accepted. We will meet at the... No. This is on my terms or no deal. I'll meet you at the facility on the Lower East Side. I'm 
not familiar with the facility. Yet. You know, the place you're sitting in right now. I know where the agency labs are. I'll take delivery of the vaccine myself and hand it to a courier who will take it to Leo. Yeah, Logan has all the Once cards now. Secured, I'll take you to the disc's location. How can I trust you? You'll be holding me for insurance. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. I can't wait to meet you. I'll bet. No trick, Stevens. If anything happens to me, if the vaccine doesn't work, if Leon dies, I'll shut this agency down. We'll work this out. No one wants Yeah, this. right. Out. Sorry, sir. Wasn't able to complete the trace. Get someone from Archives up here. Logan's working with someone besides Leon Singh. I want to pull the records for agents who've worked with Logan in the last 10 years. I mean everyone. Yes, sir. You don't trust him, do you? Obviously not, but it's the only way I can get into the labs. They have no intention of curing Leon. What are you going to do? They'll search me electronically. I need a weapon that will get by their security. I've got what you need. Now, Gabe, don't laugh. Give him a chance to show you what he's got. You're kidding. A hollow tooth? Just a thing. Fill with the gas that's benign until you mix it with CO2. Breathe deep, hold your breath, bite it, and exhale. Anything that breathes it is dead. Thanks. I'll contact you when I get to New York. No way! A deadly I'm tooth, huh? On this one. I can't ask you to do it. Leon is my friend. I quit the agency because I knew what they were. I should have warned her. Warned you. Didn't. I'm going with you. Okay. You sure Leon will be alright? There is nothing more we can do for her until we have the vaccine. Time is running out, I'm afraid. You two have been through a lot together. I can tell you feel something for her. Maybe. So Gabe, um... Gabe is gonna get the vaccine, and he's gonna trade the data disks, which show the agency's um, uh, corrupt dealings. Don't the fact that they were involved with um, Black Baton, Romer's terrorist group. So this is where the HC labs are. It's in a rundown part of New York in an abandoned building. Logan. Stevens. This is Dr. Weisinger, our chief medical officer and biologist. She will be preparing the vaccine. You'll never see the vaccine, but let me show you how to give an injection. First, you immobilize the arm, and You'll then you You'll never find her, Stevens. You'll... Take him to the security room OR. Let me know when he's ready. Dr. Heng Su is here for Shi Hao's shipment. I don't know how long I can stall him. We'll have her soon. Even if we got the plasma today, there would probably not be enough time to... I'll be in the data lab. Let me know when you are finished. Heng yeah. Su is the Chinese scientist oh, that's Heng there to pick up the siphon I'll filter virus for, um, for General Shi Hao. Uh. <gasps> hmm, looks like that lab coat might just fit me. The music is really creepy here. Agency Biolab, New York. Fagan's data files have given you a bargaining chip to use against the agency. And you've agreed to a trade, the files for Leon's vaccine. However, Stevens has double-crossed you. You now find yourself trapped in a lone agency's New York bio um, genetic laboratories, hidden 100 meters beneath a slum district on the Lower East Side. Stevens' deception was part of your plan, as it allowed you access to their high-security complex, where you'll be able to synthesize a vaccine. You're disguised as a lab worker with a low-level security badge. This will help you get around, but be cautious. If you get too close to any lab personnel or any security camera, you will be recognized. Okay. Now... This mission, I'll show you guys how to do this, but I might mess up and I'm clear. I'm heading to security to get some my people might actually use this video as a guide. Uh, when I did my playthrough of Siphon Filter 1, uh, I'll try to monitor your location. Be careful. When I did my playthrough of Siphon Filter 1 a few months back, I saw a lot of comments of people saying that they used my playthrough as a guide and how to get through certain missions. Uh, so maybe people will be using this as a guide. But if you use this as a guide, let me know in the comments because I'm curious about that. Um but basically, this is probably the worst mission in the game, this mission. Um, a lot of people hate this mission because of how, how easy it is to get caught. But I think I know the route, that you're supposed to go this way. You keep the section secure while I find a body bag for Logan's corpse. Yes, sir. So don't get too close to the agency guards. You can roll to save a little bit of time.
The soundtrack is really good for this mission. Oh, damn. Yeah, so... Gotta watch out for that guy there. Okay. Let him pass here. Sorry, messed up there. Forgot about that guy. This guy here, get behind this really quick. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, let that guy pass. Okay, go. Get behind this right here. Just wait till he starts moving. Here we go. More of these guys, okay. Ah, uh, damn. I didn't expect him to turn around so quickly. Um, but yeah, this is this is the worst mission in the game. A lot of people think this is truly the worst mission in the game. Uh, I'm trying to remember which way do I go. Do I go left or right here? I'm going the right way right now. I think I gotta go in that room. That room that he went into, I think that's where I gotta go. Okay, security net. I'm patching you into the computer labs from here. I'm sure this system doesn't have access to sensitive files, but maybe we can find out where the main data storage is. Let me check. Uh, no. It's a low access system. You need to get into the level 5 security area. The only person with clearance is a guy named Gershon. His office is in section A. That section is sealed off. Let me study these schematics. There must be another way in. Right. Let me know when you find something. Out. Okay, I think I know what I gotta do now. Yep, I got. I know what I gotta do. Go here, go to this table, the operating table, and take the knife. Oh, damn. Holding X to move, and he keeps... Okay, I got a gun now. That was close. Ah, <sighs> damn. Getting too close to these guys, okay. Got you. Okay, next one down. need a knife for this. See that guy down there? I'm sick. I need some help here. Shut up. Soon it'll all be over. You won't have to worry about a thing. That's Ramirez. Remember him from the mountain? He's still alive. Oh my god, you're Logan! 
Ah. Nope, okay. I'm gonna kill these guys here. These scientists are some pretty hey, bad people. I just work here. I'm not responsible. I don't make policy. Yeah, I don't, I'm not responsible. I just work here. But you're experimenting on people and injecting them with deadly viruses. No, it's not gonna fly here. Okay. Combat here. Gabe, I think I found a way to Gershon. There's a network of heating ducts that links the two sections. You might be able to use them. Great. More ducts. Now we're talking. Got my Glock here, okay. Down. Okay, get the next guy now. They get a good shot in his head. Got him. Ramirez, you made it off the mountain. Anyone else? Only Chance and me. Chance? Where is he? I don't know. They're holding him somewhere else. Okay, you hold tight here. I can't get you out yet. When I find Chance, I'll send him back for you. Yes, sir. So Chance, remember, Lieutenant Chance, he's still alive, too. Okay, see here. Gabe, you'll need the network administrator's access card for this area. Okay. Network administrator's access card. Okay. Now we can start shutting off these cameras when we come up behind them. Okay, camera one shut off. Okay. Found the synthesis lab. Leon's vaccine. I wish it were that easy, Gabe. The lab is sealed, so you gotta find another way in. This is where we started, okay. start dropping these guys one by one here now. Another one down. off the camera too. Don't even think of leaving until you got the vaccine. Okay, it's the other event. Okay, we should be in Gershon's office now. What the hell? Who are you? Don't touch the phone, Gershon, or I'll break your arm. Who are you? What are you doing here? Heating duct repair man. I need to get to the central data room and you're gonna be my escort. Set off any alerts and I'll kill you. Let's go.
This part here, when you cross this hallway, it's really easy to fail here. Remember this part. You get a witness, you gotta drop this guy really quickly here. Yeah, that guy. You gotta drop him really fast. Get out of here alive, Logan. Give yourself up now and spare us all the headache. Shut up and do what I say. Data console's over there. Help yourself. Right. On your knees, face the wall. Okay, uh... Teresa, I'm downloading the agency's security files. What have you got? The chief physician is a woman named Elsa Weisinger. You find her, you'll have the vaccine. Okay, keep downloading data as long as you can. I'll keep the file- Hey you! What are you doing over there? Stop! Damn it! Great. Ah, oh, damn, this is- Their headshot auto-aim, right? The nice thing about this submachine gun, this gun has armor-piercing rounds, so this will actually shoot right through their vests. Teresa, is the whole place on alert now? No, I managed to localize the security system and shut it down around the archive. It's temporary, though. Leon's better at this hacker stuff than I am. Sooner or later, their backup system will see something's wrong. You better hurry. I'm on my way to the medical labs now. Okay. We gotta go back to the suppressor because even though this area, um... Uh, this area we, uh, we fired some loud weapons, you know, Teresa disabled the alarm. So we're still largely undetected. Uh, and you know the crazy thing about this mission? There is no map in this mission. There's no map. So you literally have to figure out where to go, what to do the entire time on your own. That's what's a bit ridiculous. Where do I gotta go now? Um... Yeah, right here, this way, this time. Okay. B1. This music is just makes this mission so much creepier. It's like evil secret government lab underground. Intruder alert! Oh, too bad. Yeah. No mercy for evil scientists. This guy thinks he's safe in here. Oops. Gabe! Thank God. They were shooting me up with some kind of drug. What the hell kind of place is this, Gabe? There's no time. I have a chopper outside a half mile away. Here are its coordinates. Take this and get to the security room and free Ramirez. Get up to the street any way you can and wait for me at the chopper. Thanks, Logan. You saved my ass again. Just move. 
That's chance we saved him. Okay. You can see signs of the virus at work on the internal organs by looking for discoloration and swelling. This particular strain of the virus was programmed to affect only liver cells. Because the test subject was a heavy alcoholic, we wanted to see how the virus would react to liver cells differentiated by years of abuse. Look here, you can see that the virus cells have adapted nicely to the unforeseen cell structures, and have performed their task adequately. How does the virus know which chromosome have been changed if its pre-programmed genetic structure have been altered? Come back with me to the viral lab and I'll show you the matrix we use. So remember that uh, Shi Hao wants to, uh, General Shi Hao, that Chinese general, he wants to weaponize the virus so that he can use it on the people in Heilongchang in that province who want to secede. Teresa, they're experimenting on living human beings. Yeah. You're not going to believe what's in these data files. You're wrong. I'll believe anything at this point. Try that vent, Gabe. The virus started, of course, as a potent bioweapon, but as you can see, we have progressed far beyond that. Think of it as a supercomputer, a nanomachine that can be programmed on a genetic level. Incredible! This is just the beginning. The siphon filter virus is the next millennium. With the virus as a delivery system, no cell is immune. Cancer cells will become a thing of the past. Here, look at these slides while I go get the matrix data. I'll be right back. Okay. See how scientist is dead. Dr. Weisinger, how good to see you again. You don't need a gun. I'm not very dangerous. Not unless you've got a needle full of poison. I want the vaccine for Leon Zing. Now. How did you get past lab security? Never mind. Of course you got by security. Steven set it up after all. Just give me the vaccine. Here, take it. It's too late, you know. The virus will already have begun to... Heng Su is dead. Shi Hao is not going to like this. The PRC is going to be furious. Your men had better stop- PRC as People's Republic of China. Down there now. Are you all right? Don't worry about me. Stop Logan. He has Lian Xing's vaccine. You can't let him escape. We'll stop him. Out. Idiot. Yeah, you've been doing such a good job so far. I understand. Good. All right, get Unit 1 and get out there. I want that chopper. Yes, sir. This is this mission is actually a lot of fun. New York, USA, Agency Bio Lab. You've gotten Leon's vaccine, but the complex has been put on alert. You're trapped in the biosynthesis lab, and you've ditched the disguise because it won't do you any good. You've only got one objective: get out, reach street level, and rendezvous with Teresa, who's waiting at the evac point for chopper. Stevens has called an emergency defense squad. These security shock groups will be completely armored from head to toe unless you can find a way to kill them. When you see them, run. So the agency is sending their best guys. We got the vaccine. All we gotta do is get out now. Remember this? Take cover right here. 
These armored guys, shoot that, that'll blow up. These armored guys, you can only kill them with, uh, with explosives. These guys are wearing full armor. I can't hit them. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really good help, Teresa. Thank you. Oh, he's not this way. Ah. Oh, damn. Yep. Okay, so follow this way now. right way to go, right? I think so. Yeah, it's in here. Okay, this is the way. Right where you started? Go in here. There's a siphon filter, one Easter egg here. The agency has a lot of bodies here in cold storage. I'd like to get a list of these toe tags and check them against missing persons. Important people have just disappeared. Plane crashes where bodies weren't recovered. People vanish all the time. Keep an eye out. The agency is mobilized. I'm sure they're out looking for you by now. How long are you going to be? I'm almost out of the lab complex now. Be there soon. Hey, and this is Gardu. Remember him? That flamethrower terrorist? Side filter one, you blew up his flamethrower tank, set him on fire. That's his remains right there. Let's see, let me just check here. Is there any kind of is there a flak jacket or anything here? No, I don't think there is. Yeah. We're gonna be in trouble here. I need a flak jacket. In the oh, wait. here we go. Look at what we got here an M79. Now we're not so defenseless anymore. Boom, okay. I can't believe that this happened. I literally blew him up and he, he went on fire towards me. That, that's just... Yeah, that... Okay. There we go, got you. Ah. Hmm. 
And which way am I going here now? Look at this now here. Ramirez. Ramirez. Damn it, Chance. Where the hell are you? And now, there's gonna be one more in here, right behind the wall, but just don't fire the- Hope that got him. That got him, okay. You don't want to blow up the computer in here. Oh! Damn. Um. Yeah. Uh, oh, what? I don't mean these armored guys there are in this mission. There's so many of them. I've got no more grenades. Elevator, uh, where's the elevator? Oh, I passed it. Okay, there's the elevator. Time to get out. This place shut down. Do not, I repeat, do not let Logan out of here. If Leon gets the vaccine, her plasma will be useless to us. Yes, I know. Unit 1, where are you? Checking the rooftop south of the lab complex. Logan's escaped. Find that chopper now. We'll find it. I'm on my way. Logan will be stopped, even if I have to do it myself. So, even though we got out, it's not easy. We still gotta get to the helicopter.
slum, New York, USA. Hey, slum district. You've made it to the city streets. Teresa is waiting with a chopper for evac on the roof of a parking garage half a mile from your current position. Make it a chopper and you're home free. NYPD has gotten reports of gunfire between you and the agency's security and has sent several SWAT teams into the area. These officers believe you're a wanted terrorist responsible for the attack on DC and will fire on you on site. Avoid contact if, if possible. Lend assistance if necessary. So the, um, New York police have responded. Teresa? You can't kill the police, um, if you see them. They'll open fire on you. Looks like the agency's going to war. Give me your location. I'm gonna come pick you up. Negative. Damn it, Gabe. Your face is plastered on the wall of every police precinct in the country, remember? You're a wanted terrorist. These cops will shoot first and ask questions later. Don't worry about the SWAT guys. I'll stay out of their way. I ran into a hostage in the labs and gave him your location. You have to stay there and watch for him. He might still make it. All right. I hear you. Yeah, that's what you said at the Expo Center. Hey, I listen to you. Just don't always do what you say. Right. Ah, oh, damn. I was trying to get armor and I instantly wasted the second I... Teresa, I'm on... Okay, there we go. Flak jacket, finally, some health. So, um, the, um... The agency's uh, guys are all over the streets and they're gonna be at war with the NYPD. Love this soundtrack. Okay, uh... Teresa, the agency's shutting down streets everywhere. See if you can find an open route for me. Copy that. Got him. Yeah, that's why I check corners. Dead. Okay. Let's get the M16 out. Uh, where are we going? I think I gotta climb. Gabe, I'm picking up SWAT radio traffic. There are officers 
pinned down by sniper fire. I'll see what I can do. So this part, there's gonna be a bunch of cops that are, that are pinned down also, and they're gonna shoot at you on sight, but you gotta help them. So the agency is killing everyone on the streets, even cops. They're not gonna leave any witnesses for this. I remember when I was a kid playing this game and uh, seeing New York City. Uh... Hang in there, Ross. I'm on my way. Sniper in that building. We gotta clear clear the agency snipers. Go through here, this burnt out building. Careful, Gabe. This old flea trap could crumble at any minute. Looks like some old laundromat. Teresa, I can't get to the snipers. Check the building code and see if there's a fire suppression system. There is. The activation switch must be there somewhere. Hope it still works. Here we go. Found it. That SWAT team holding up? They're coming under heavy fire. On my way. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go now, right? The the fire system. I couldn't go up here because the this now. Okay. Snipe. There's two snipe agency snipers in this building. Got him. Okay, it's one sniper down. Other snipers upstairs. This part's a little confusing on what you gotta do. Um, if I remember correctly, yeah, climb this table. Guards, I've got the terrorists. Then back up. Oh no! <sighs> Damn. Damn, this is yeah, this is this is how ridiculous some some of these guys are sometimes. Um
Oh man, I'm sorry guys. It's just, it's just sometimes these guys get really annoying like when they just they get so close to you. It's uh What? What 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 no 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 no. I I Okay. That's all the all the snipers are dead now. So Gabe could have been running, but uh, he chose to stop to help the NYPD who were getting pinned down by the snipers. More guys, okay. Place your hands behind your head and lie down. All oh, this. Uh. Oh, great. Is the guy in the roof, too? dead yet. What's going on over here? I need backup now. Officer down. Come on, move. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Give me a sit rep. My partner's been down in that building. Two snipers have the courtyard sealed up, and I can't get to him. Right. You advance, and I'll lay down cover fire. Understood? I'm moving. I'll stay back here to get a clean shot at him. Move fast. I'm going to lay down suppressing fire. Should keep him down. Oh, damn. Well, that's that sniper has some crazy aim there. Also, when he said when he says give me a sit rep, um that means uh, you know, to give me a situational report. Jack, can you hear me? Jack, backup's on the way. Hang on. Uh, good luck. Stop. I can't let you leave. I'm sorry. Drop your weapon and place your hands on the ground in front of you. Listen, I don't have time for this and you're out of ammo. So I suggest you look after your partner before he bleeds to death.
Oh, this is where the snipers were, I think. Yeah, right up here, okay. Teresa, I finished off the last sniper. I'm on my way to your location now. Any sign of chance? No. They must have finished him in the labs. Out. Chance, I'm sorry. Teresa, we're the... Drop your gun, Logan. You don't want to see an innocent cop's brain splattered all over the walls, do you? Stevens, now! Don't do it. He's gonna kill me anyway. So now we murder innocent police officers? You should have listened to her, Logan. We're getting really close to the end here now. Uh, Teresa saved you from an amb uh, ambush set by Stevens by detonating a controlled series of C4 charges underneath the tenement uh, you were in. The floor collapsed and you fallen through, down to the sewers running uh, underneath the building. You're now headed through the sewers back to the chopper. Follow Teresa and keep her alive. Okay. Teresa, following orders as usual, I see. I got your location from Subvocals. Found some C4 in the chopper. Wanted to see if I still knew how to use it. I'd say you passed pretty well. I lost all my gear in that blast. Now I'm gonna need a weapon. Here's a 45. These sewer tunnels pass directly under the streets and have an outlet in the parking garage basement. I'm behind you all the way. Gabe, stay close. There's a lot of enemies in this and a lot of close quarters. Let's Gotta be go. careful. The agency is all on its last legs. It's almost finished, but it's, uh... But we still gotta get Stevens here. Oh yeah! Agency training's really coming. Parisa has now. that uh, USAS shotgun, the South Korean uh, semi-automatic shotgun. That thing's a beast. valve around here somewhere. Aw, oh, damn, I thought I had him. I don't know how I... Uh, how I missed that shot, too. Um... The sewage release, I think, is back here. Gabe, it's working. 
working. Hey, I've spotted Stevens. I'm going after him. Teresa, no. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Teresa r rushes way too much into stuff. Crap, they're here. That's the way I gotta go, okay. Hi, damn. Sick of these agency fogs, I'm just gonna kill all of them. Ah, damn, the flak jacket. It's, there's this. The hell, like how they shoot my body like a hundred times too, which is. Those flak jacket guys are just such a pain a lot of times. It's like you can't even tell who the flak jacket guys are. Damn, okay, yeah. Oh, wait, what's that? Black jacket, okay, perfect. You know, the thing about this is I played this game for so many years and I didn't even know that you could actually shoot while you were hanging on. Oh, great, up. Oh. Teresa wasted all these guys here. Gabe, over here. There's Stevens. Have your men secure the garage. I'll be at Logan's chopper. There's Logan! There they are! Get him! Damn, he's hard to kill. Stay close. It's gonna be a firefight getting out of here. Stevens. Let's see some of that agency training. Call off your men and we can settle this between us. Very macho, Logan. I don't think so. Rule one of war, superior numbers will win the day. You're outmatched, Logan. This time you won't escape. Move! Superior numbers isn't what's gonna win. Better soldiers win. 
Stevens is on the move. I'll follow. Stevens only has a few guys left. Not a lot. He's done at this point. What's taking you so long, Gabe? Okay, we go up then. Whoa! It's gonna give me a heart attack. That's uh, like sometimes there's like scenes like you don't even have a chance to get out of the way. Gabe, look out. Look out. And Teresa dies in this case then. Smoke him out while you finish him off. Do it. Nice. Split up. I'll take the stairs, you try the ramps. Radio if you find Stevens. Got it. M79. Boom. Yeah. Sick of these guys. Okay, this is all that's left of Steven's bodyguards. He's, this is it. Black jacket, guys. No, no. Kill me, Logan. I'm still useful to you. You think you know what you're involved in? You have no idea. Nope. You're too late. <coughs> Vaccine? She's dead. You're wrong, Stevens. I have the vaccine. I've saved my partner. And you're just another dead agent. 
Well, that's it. The end of the agency. Somehow I doubt it. Come on. Let's get this vaccine to Leon. Look what at this now. Hell? Who started the chopper? Jane, look out! Teresa! Oh. I'm wearing full body armor, Gabe. You can't hurt me. Chance. You don't sound surprised. I'm not. All the time in Colorado, the agency seemed to know what I was doing before I did. Our route down the mountain, my direction on the highway, the train, and the labs. You were dressed in a hospital gown so they could lock me up with you in case the drugs didn't work. No secrets from old friends. When the transport plane arrived, I sent you up to secure it, and Leon got captured. You turned her over to them. I told him where she was and secured the test subject for transport. Just doing my job, Logan. That's all. My job. Your job? Men under your command trusted you with their lives. I eliminated the expendable target. The line of duty as per my orders. I know the rhetoric. It doesn't change what you are. What we are, Logan. How many men did you kill to get here? All of them, they were just doing their job. Do they deserve to die? I'm just doing what I was trained to do. Yeah, so am I. Enough of this. Get that out of my face. Ugh. Let's dance! So that's Chance. Chance has been an agency rat from the very beginning. That's how Leon got captured. And also, um... Remember at the beginning of the game when you're on the plane and then Chance says, Damn concussion grenades, my ears won't stop ringing. That's, um, but he was giving the signal to the jets to attack the cargo plane. And also, remember when you were in Colorado, when you got on the bridge and the helicopter knew where you were and attacked you because Chance told them where Gabe was. He's the final boss in Siphon Filter 2. And remember, this is, when I, I beat this game when I was six years old, this game. And this is the first time that I experienced betrayal in a game. Like, I actually got betrayed by somebody. Uh, Sykes, um, parking garage. Teresa's dead, killed by chance, who has secretly been an agency operative all along. He's completely covered in high-impact Kevlar armor. Even grenades won't pierce it. But you've got only one goal now, eliminate chance. So think about that. Think, think about that, guys. You can't kill Chance with bullets. You can't kill him with explosives. He's wearing the best armor in the game. How are you supposed to kill him if you can't kill him with bullets and you can't kill him with explosives? Think. Because you gotta be really creative. There's a specific way to kill him. It's, um... When I was at this mission, so many people struggled with. When this game first came out, I remember when this game first came out back in 2000, that there were so many people that were... that didn't know how to kill him. No matter how many times you shoot him, uh, all the bu he will that no matter how many times you shoot him all the bullets um uh, won't do anything him it's why it's, it's really good to get armor right before you start this yeah okay okay get the flak jacket oh he can shoot you underneath the helicopter okay Chance killed Ramirez too, and he told Ramirez that you betrayed him, that you ordered it. How much a scumbag this guy is. You know, Chance is one of my most hated characters when I was a kid. Okay. He's got the best shotgun in the game too. Okay, um, you gotta try to drag him over here on this side. Okay. Damn, no, he's all back over here. I'm trying to get him to circle around the helicopter. Damn. Yeah. I gotta get him to come over on this side here.
Damn, okay. That's what I needed. I needed that shotgun. Oh, yeah. He, he, he can get... He, you can kill him really quickly, or it can really stretch out. It's, um... Uh, this boss battle is, like like I said, it's just really annoying. You were the best, Logan, but you let that partner of yours get under your skin. here okay get the shotgun now what you do here watch this um that's what you do you push him into the blades with the shotgun so the armor can protect him from bullets and explosives but won't protect him from a helicopter blade that's the trick to killing him government agency which allegedly had terrorist dealings that far surpassed those of the Iran-Contra affair during the Reagan presidency. We go live now to Secretary of State Vince Haddon. The president has ordered a full investigation of this so-called black box agency and has vowed to fully cooperate with congressional authorities. Rest assured that we will get to the bottom of this. I can answer no more questions at this time. And now a story from northern China, where tensions rose as Russian troops rolled into the province of Heilongjiang. I can't believe she's gone. She'd be alive today if we hadn't dragged her into Teresa the died the way she lived, doing what she believed in. In any case, you could hardly have stopped her. No one could. She gave her life for mine. How can I live with that? The same way I will. By surviving. By not giving up. By fighting for what you believe in. It's not over yet. Yeah, so that is the end there. There's still one more game in the trilogy, Siphon Filter 3. Um, it's still re released on the PS5 also. But yeah, um, I mean, I guess uh, Markinson was the first betrayal I experienced in Siphon Filter 1. But Chance was the one that really hurt me. Like, because I did not expect that. I, I did not expect Chance to do that, to betray you like that. And so it's just really sad. He killed Ramirez too. Told Ramirez that Gabe was the one who ordered his death. But that's... uh. That game, um, uh, that final boss battle, is it, it, it tricked so many people because the description says you can't kill him with bullets, you can't kill him with explosives, so how are you supposed to kill him? And that's the helicopter blades. But if this game ever gets a remake, like the game ever gets like a full remake, imagine like this game like Resident Evil 2 being full re remade. Uh, imagine how brutal Chance's death would be in a, um, uh, in a remake. Because in a remake, um, you know, PS1, this was a PS1 game, you know, you you just saw a bunch of blood, but in reality you'd have arms and legs flying everywhere, his head would get cut off from that. The armor wouldn't protect him from that. And the thing, what I loved about the Siphon Filter, you know, credits is that the credits were always interactive. They always saw, like, the, the screen was moving back, and there's still going to be, um, there's still gonna be one final thing here, guys. Look at this now. Sir, we have them. You want us to move in? No, I want your men out of here now. Yes, sir. We will finish this operation. Vince Haddon, the Secretary of State. When the administration falls as the Secretary of State, you will become president. You could have ended it here. Perhaps, but I am not finished with him yet. I have something else in mind for Gabriel. So Vince Haddon was that mysterious guy that was in the background, the Secretary of State. Remember, he's in the introduction. He's at the very start of it. Um, in the very start of um, uh, at the very start of the um, 
of the game, he appears there. I'll show you guys what I mean. So I had a lot of fun playing this game. It was definitely one of my most, uh, you know, favorite PS1 games. One of my all-time favorite PS1 games. And I think Siphon Filter 2 is the best Siphon Filter game. You know, there are some times when the flak jacket enemies get annoying at times. But other than that, it's a really fun game, and the story was actually pretty good, the combat was good, the soundtrack was great, I just love that battle soundtrack, like that rock sound soundtrack, I kind of like that heavy metal vibe that's like playing like right when you're fighting the agency. Um, but yeah, this is the introduction here again, um, and so Shi Hao failed um, uh, to subdue um, the Heilong Chang province because he didn't get the Simon Bolter virus. Tensions between the U.S. and People's Republic of China are on the rise as the administration answers allegations that it allowed sensitive U.S. technologies to be so sold So this part, this is from the introduction of the game again. Um. In other news, we now go live to the White House press room where Secretary of State Vince Haddon is expected to comment on the Kazakhstan missile incident. So right here was the Secretary of State, this guy. Four hours ago, a nuclear missile so he was behind everything. Kazakhstan. The Kazakhstan government assures us this was an accidental launch and that the missile was destroyed via their own safety countermeasures. So I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching my Siphon Filter 2 series. I hope that you guys enjoyed this entire playthrough. If you really want me to, I can probably do Siphon Filter 3. We'll do another, like, long video. Um, probably next month, play Siphon Filter 3. Uh, but um, uh, if you guys do enjoy, you know, these playthroughs, these old games that I play through, uh, do drop a like. But yeah, I love Siphon Filter 1 and 2. And I have Siphon Filter 1 linked at the end also, if you want to check that out. If you haven't uh, checked out my Siphon Filter uh, 1 playthrough. But thank you guys for watching. This game, you know, uh, means a lot to me holds a special place in my heart I remember playing this game a lot and i played the multiplayer a lot the split screen you know the versus mode me and my friends would play you know after um after school a lot of times when we were kids we were like six seven years old but we were still playing these games on the ps1 and uh, they were a lot of fun but thank you guys for watching hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did do drop a like and i'll see you guys on the next one take care everyone have a wonderful day guys